Marriage is not something that I think about. Oh, damn. At all. Oh. Like, at all. Breaking news. <laughs> news. That is, that is breaking. breaking. Thank you well so done. much. Oh. Thank you. Everyone's okay. Do, does he look like someone that's <laughs> even been married for a day? He does. Yeah, he man. looks married that's to you. Can you. You can all see by his cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Lagos meets London. Where Peckham boys chill in Utapa, London. As Morita La Mohammed, Heathrow is on his is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via Ghost. This is where Lagos meets London. What's up, yeah. people? How oh, are you guys you doing? Know. Welcome back oh. to another episode <laughs> of Lagos Smiths London. As you guys already know, this is where Lagos Smiths London. How are you guys doing? It's your boy OJ, and of course, not Simpson, if you're new here. <laughs> and yeah, I'm fine and well today. I'm sitting next to a damn cell. I'll let the rest Damn of right. my familia let them introduce Damn themselves. Right. Hello, guys. It's your favorite girl, Missy Alice. Guys, I'm tired, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm feeling the heat now. I'm I could the host. Yeah. You know the vibe each and every time. We're here. Lagos meets London and it's hot like Lagos. But who do we have in the building? Honestly, <laughs> it's hot today. He and we brought even guys. more heat into the studio. Hey, Fire. Guys, Fire. like I said... This guy brought his girlfriend to work. Hey, can you get... <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry guys. Like I said, oh we are uh, just, just to back up a bit, we're keeping in line with our team this month. The superstars only, as you guys can already see. Oh. Superstars only. Um, we're celebrating uh, women of Nigerian origin, the successful women of Nigerian origin in the entertainment industry, be it in Lagos, be it here in the UK. Uh, London so today well. on Lagos Smith London, we have some of you might know her as a poet, some of you might know her as a comedian, <laughs> and some of you, to some of you, she's a five foot one Yoruba goddess. Sweet, hmm. sexy, succulent. I've even decided I'm five foot two. Aye. I changed my mind. I'm five, yeah, I changed my mind. I'm five today, two. You can do that. I do what I want. What's today's date? <laughs> Trust me. What's today's date? Today's the 12th. The 12th. The 12th. Mm. On the 12th of August. Mm. On the 12th of August. I did shy your Rihanna mm-hmm. Talabi has mm-hmm. declared that she's five foot two. I'm no longer five one. No, please. It's, it's official. It's, it's, it's official. fake news. If, it's you, a, if you hear people say official. I'm five one, I'm now We've five two. giving you the certificate. I decided. I don't give a heck. Why not? Why not? I'm so happy to be here. I love your Man. Sugar, I mean, I'm giving you a name, Sugar Mommy of London. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You're even no, don't don't like say one. don't say that too loudly before the broke boys now come and <laughs> scatter my no, ideas. You, you always have screen, you screen, Please, you always have screen. I can screen, I can help you screen. Please, could let's do quality check, quality yeah. control. <laughs> let's filter the broke the uh, our poverty. What about, what about broke and good looking? Nah, man. <laughs> you think you think okay. you think beauty ugly is and, enough to ugly and rich. Please, big belly, like, big belly and rich. <laughs> you, you don't want to rub the belly. <laughs> big bellies, yeah. uncle bellies. Yeah. No, please come with a six pack. Ooh. Even even eight. Ooh. Come with the eight pack. <laughs> come with the eight pack. Love that. You still thing. haven't said who we've got in the building. You've guys, just been doing. I've... Sorry, guys. Uh, for audio listeners. Exactly. <laughs> for audio <laughs> listeners, I'm just going to reiterate once again. We have sweet. Sexy, succulent, mm. sophisticated, mm. gamma mm. me of London. Oh, yeah. Wow. Adesha yo, Rihanna, yeah. Talabi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're going to serenade her. Adesha yo, Pepe Rempe. Pepe Rempe. Adesha yo, sugar, sugar. Hey. Sugar, sugar. Adesha yo, Pepe Rempe. Pepe Rempe. Adesha yo, sugar, sugar. Spread this one dollar. Sugar, 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 welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm so happy to be here, honestly. Uh, shout, so very before happy we to get be into here. it, shout out Jess. Amazing. Thank you so much for making this happen. Jess, Jess. my manager. Yeah, Jess. Love you, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always behind the scenes people because I'm the one that sends the emails yeah. back and forth, so I understand all the, mm. the, the logistics. And yeah. before we get into it, guys, make sure you are following us on all our social media platforms, mm-hmm. on okay, our YouTube channel, especially. Shy, we, <laughs> we, we, we are everywhere. <laughs> We're on TikTok, Instagram, also on the streaming platforms. We're on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, Spotify as well. Mm-hmm. So make sure you're following, you're liking, commenting, and, and you are sharing. Great. Especially the comments. Like, literally. Especially the comments. I'm, I started doing this thing, yeah, mm. <laughs> where I love a very dramatic, I love it if anything theatrical, anything dramatic mm-hmm. is me. I love it. Yeah. So, you know, when you see like a fine babe, I have a lot of fine babe friends. Sometimes it's not enough to just leave heart emoji or love struck nah. eye emoji. You need to Sometimes let them you know. need to let, let me even show you. 
and there's one I even saw. <laughs> why you why you be looking for yeah, it? Be saying, saying it. Mm-hmm. The guy, the girl said, uh, that's another thing. Women, they are very, very dramatic when oh, it comes hey. to Instagram captions and the comments on their friends' <laughs> posts. This mm. one said, looking out, seeing my post and just not liking it is like you see me on the floor bleeding out and not calling the ambulance. And it's true. <laughs> it's, it's very much true. Oh, I said, and oh it's my true. God. Because it's like, do you hate me? And it's true. <laughs> do, you, do you hate me? It's and it's true. That's what I say, we men. And it's true. Wow. It's true. But like, I've been, I love when, I love, I love the girls. That's my, I love mm. the girls. I'm such a big supporter of girls, especially my sister girls, my sister girls, right? Mm. So whenever I see one fine babe, where's, what, uh huh, Uche, my good sister, yeah. She, she did so this pretty. one. She's go- she's stunning, right? She's stunning. I saw this picture. I said it's not enough to just to just leave one love, love heart her. emoji and it's sparkling kidney. I said you took my breath away. <laughs> Then your beauty brought me back to life just so I could gasp again. Oh Don't piss me off. Come on, man. If you're saying this, what you should be saying? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm stealing that one. That's what I'm saying. I'm stealing it. That's you what took, I'm saying. You took my breath Took away. my breath away. I died dead. <laughs> I died then dead. I remembered, reminded I myself of your beauty and I resurrect again. My dude. Just so I could be like, oh, oh, so look at I your picture. Do you like when babes are in your comments? Oh, I love, I love, I love babes in my comments. I love babes in my DMs. I love I love the babes. Yeah. Does that make your coochie? Your coochie? Where? Do you know what's crazy? I've had girls send me pictures of their of their of their coochie. No, stop. Wallahi. What? Wallahi, I swear to you. I, do you know what? It's because you talk. About I don't it. like it though. No, why are you sending me? Why are you sending me pictures of coochie? Your coochie? I don't want to see your coochie. It's stop it. You talk about your coochie a lot, so I, they're like, she's gonna uh, like yeah. this. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> do I? Do I? <laughs> I have a bad memory. Do I? <laughs> I don't, do know, I? I don't know what she's Shire. talking about. I've never do seen I? It, do I? Have you seen it? Okay. Maybe in, it's do coded I? in a girl uh, way that do we, I? You know, we don't are you, understand. Are you talking about my poetry? Or oh. just in general? In, in gen- you're like, guys, I just got back and, you know, my, my thingy is throbbing. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> When did I say Shire, that? You're gonna read your comment section. Did that, I say that? that? See your post. That's crazy. Do you know what? I really don't care. I'm not gonna lie. Even Energy. if I did, ugh, I don't Energy. care. I love that. I don't care. It happens, but be yourself, yeah. man. And it is it's what it is. So, you have, so you have girls moving to you. I've I have girls moving to me. I have. Are there, I have are there like constant? There's some people that are very they are on it. They are, they'll like, be on it like diligent. Me. Bro, yeah, that consistent. If you don't block it. <laughs> you're gonna that have, you have to block it. You're yeah. gonna have oh, a good that's time. Scary, I have though. I have people sending me like. Do you know what? When I've got that picture, my first picture because there's been more than one, oh. and I'm saying this laughy jokey, but it's not a joke. Stop sending unsolicited pictures of your genitalia to people. It's not nice, are man. Are black babes? Men Black and babes, women. white wow. babes. Yeah, like... Ooh, white babes? You don't know I'm... I'm oh, wow. I'm, you're succulent. You're, you're, what's, succulent. What's that thing called? Succulent is universal, baby. Wait, wait, what's that? When they say it doesn't something, discriminate. Something it doesn't like, discriminate. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, it's it's so weird because the thing is... <laughs> and that's why I don't... I tend not to, like, share... Um, Check skimpy. my DMs too much. Oh. No, I like I like I like revealing clothes. I like skimpy clothes. But well, if you're saying, oh yeah, 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 no, I, 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 do. I jumped, I jumped. <laughs> I do. because I'm wearing like badder today because I'm wearing kini today. Please, <laughs> no, we love the <laughs> like Oh my yeah, days! I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be no, here. We're happy to have, have you. Him. She said, "Stop sending unsolicited, both men and women." Yeah. Stop it. If I don't ask, don't send. But when I ask. Decent. If I am, I wanted to play a game with you just to even help like you like, warm up into us, but I would say that. Then. Ugh, it's but we hot. still play the game. Like. Let's play the game. Let's so <laughs> we play the game. Alice, Alice and I, we obviously we know that you you do a lot of sketches. You do a lot of like you get into a lot of characters. So we wanted to give you like two scenarios each to sort of like embody. But you have See how you're smiling. She's Shut like, you. yeah, this is my bag. <laughs> is I'm ready. Bag. I told this you. I'm ready. I told you. This is my bag. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start, okay? Oh, you're even looking rich anyway. Thank so you. Thank you're you. You're ready for the part. So, okay, you've got mm. a rich Nigerian uncle toasting mm-hmm. his niece's friend mm-hmm. at a family wedding. He's mm-hmm. rich. That's rich okay. Nigerian okay. uncle okay. toasting so his niece's friend. So speak, speak like a rich. A rich Nigerian. So I, I am the you rich are, uncle. Yes, yes. Oh, you are the rich okay. uncle. I'm the babe. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's the babe. In fact, okay. face you up. want to be the babe. Okay. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's, it, it, this is theater. It's oh, yeah, entertainment. No. Pick go. the babe. Pick. Okay. Is um, it like her? Okay. <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, yes. Uncle, my dear. Um, <laughs> my dear. Look at look at your smile right now. Can I ignore something so so beautiful, so divine? Uncle. Mm. Ah, you don't need to call me uncle. Mm. So, red wine or white wine? Ah, 
What well, you can't say I'm talking to a babe. You can't say I'm talking to a babe. Don't don't worry. You can't say I'm talking to a babe. Hmm? So Give, bring me all of the bottles, Joe. Red or white. Red. We don't need to choose. We don't need to need yeah. to choose. What's wrong with you? Hmm? So, um, <laughs> my dear, are you? Do you live? Do you live local? No. <laughs> Mm. I came from Lake. Ah, sorry. So, no, I was about, I was just about to go to the UK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anti international call so that she knows I'm, I'm from the abroad. So she knows I can take her to the abroad. So that she knows that. Oh, yeah, that's that's that's. Yeah, enter, yeah, yeah, enter, yeah, enter. Plus four four is calling. You're ending the. Oh, okay. What's you? What's you? Mumu and what? Anashi na mumu. Why are you passport me? Mumu and what? Ah, red passport. That's how you know it's a fake. It's blue now. Mumu and what? What did the blue need? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have blue. Just yeah. Ah. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was good. That was good. One is let's we throw Nigeria. Let's come to the UK now. So there's um a road man that is trying to deny stealing five pounds from his baby mama's purse. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm, am caught, I the road man? You're yeah. the road man. Is you have been caught in the act now, but you are trying to deny lying through teeth and mouth, ah. even flipping it. Ah. Even playing victim. How, how, much, did, how much did I take? You took five pounds to or buy, to buy petrol. Oh. <laughs> Poor Vati <Petrol>. boy. <laughs> Poor Vati no, boy. No, petrol. Let's say... You just took five pounds to buy... How much is weed these days? No, no you, do, you, you use it to buy Rizla. Rizla. Rizla in a drink. It's been five pounds petrol. What's that? Magnum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro said five pounds petrol. How much is Magnum? Is that three fifty? Three fifty Rizla, one pound, four fifty. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you know a lot about. The I don't. I don't. I'm just. This one has been. I'm a businessman. Been, been gossiping Magnum for the babies. I'm a businessman. He's been gossiping the Magnum. Oh, you don't drink. drink. Ah, but he's a businessman. I'm a Muslim. Ah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. That's good. Well done. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> what? What? You needed the five pounds. <laughs> See how she just ended that. <laughs> Did you? You needed the five pounds, oh, babe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, need to buy diapers for the baby. Oh, but obviously, babe, like, it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's five pounds, isn't it? Like, oh, you can't spare five pounds. <laughs> I'm your man, bro, I'm your man. <laughs> That's the reason why you shouldn't be stealing no, from me. man. So what? I'm only valuable if I can give you something. I thought it was a, it was a partnership. Babe, you're meant to take care of me. No, not babe. What, me. what about me? What about me? What about you? What about me? Oh, you know what? Let me let me call up another. Let me call up one of my other babes. You you're acting Go up. Go with her. You're acting up. Go with her. Yo Shanice. <laughs> Go with her. Yo, Shanice. And when you go, don't yeah, come yo, back. Shut up. Your and when you, you go, know don't what? come back. <laughs> what it is? It's always Shanice. Why is your okay, Shanice? Yo, and it's always the shut up, man. Like. Top <laughs> it. Ah. Top it. Oh, my days. This baby is acting up, man. This baby is acting up, man. This acting up, man. Father, top man. She's that was good. That was, that was, that was, that was good. Way, especially the way you entered it. Like, yeah. You just went into it. Just went into it. Natural. <laughs> Professional. Love, love that. We'll do one more. But you just just pick either from anyone. Any no, yeah, okay. you give her that one. Oh, you want me to mm-hmm. oh okay. So now we do stress Nigerian mom on our daughter's wedding day. Oh, mm. Perfect. Hey. That is my bag. Hey. On the, the wedding is now getting to it's getting it's getting peak peak. It's hot. Yeah. Everybody wants to like, come in. Everybody wants to eat. The daughter is crying. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. No, no. Let, okay, let's. Okay. The daughter is crying. Come. Hey! 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 I've been waiting for this day. Hmm. And you now want to come and tell me that right? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even form the words right now. Too much gas. Why not tell mommy? Mommy. Tell the mommy. Mommy. Tell the mommy. Eh? Mommy. Is my is my wife is my daughter that's getting married. It's my only one. It's my. When is 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 when Where's my daughter? She's Where's, my daughter? Okay. Where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? Hey, do you know how much money I've spent on this wedding? Hey, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Mommy, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Mommy, I'm stressed. Mommy, I'm stressed. Mommy, I'm stressed. I'm shaking like 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 I'm 
I was watching that. I was like, I was stressed. Like, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was in some distress. Like, that was, that was sick. Christ is That was lit. I don't care. I was like, I was doing what she's doing in the car. When I had girl on the floor, I started running. Oh, I did it. Christ is up. Christ is up. Oh, no, no. Oh my days. Oh my, oh my that's my mom though. My mom will roll on the floor. Oh my days. My mom roll on the that's floor. The kind, that's the kind of I've mom I've seen. Though, just for the theatrics. I've never wow. seen them have a party in my mom's oh. family and she's not like stressed. stressed. They can be planning the party for They carry everything years. on. They carry it on their <laughs> head. They carry it on their head it's on just, the day. Yeah, ah, they that's they mom's. do nice makeup, everything. Mm. Their hair is done, everything. but you can still see that they are stressed. They're stressed. They're not even enjoying it. And they'll just be running around. And it's like, why are you such a busy? You're such a busy body. Headless chicken. They're so around. busy. That's good. Damn, that, that, was was <laughs> that was good. I wasn't planning on rolling on the ground. That was Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Oh. Oscar worthy. Honestly. That. Have you ever thought of acting? Guys, that's PTSD. free. I act. She's, she, she, she's, I act. Obviously, she's obviously an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I must. Act, you have to. No, but I mean like taking it really serious and like being in movies and stuff the like that. Thing, the thing is, yeah, I'm a theatre babe. Yeah. So as much as, yeah, like I would love to be in like movies and shows and stuff i feel like this like theater mm. is what like i yeah. love like from theater when i was like allows young, you to bring it out do you know what i mean mm. yeah like I, I love the theater have you do you guys go to the theater yeah, yeah. yeah. i yeah. went to charlie's um the one they did recently like, oh the, yeah yeah um, yeah what's the name of that one again like this um, um the Wright brothers the, oh the, okay yeah, recent yeah. Play. yeah i went to that one yeah. and i've been to the lion king too theater is that okay yeah so have you done like any theater recently Done as in like been in yeah, or like, been in like a, in no like a no I haven't no I haven't but um uh not theater but I was on a um I was on ITV what was it again Comedy Central Comedy oh, yeah. yeah yeah I auditioned for this um for this part um it was a small part but then they gave me a bigger part so Come I was on. like ah, okay then go up praise God you know <laughs> definitely um, but yeah no that was that was really really fun but it's always like when you're in when like you're working and like you're acting that like, I realise like, she's like, I really, really love this. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, what about you were saying that you went to the theatre? I went to went... see the, the boys, the six boys. Oh, WP, oh, um, for Black emotions. Boys. Yeah, for Black Boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that twice. That, that was, was really, really good. good. That was really, that really was good. Really, really good. I went to the to see Blood Brothers. Bro oh! Is that good? When? When? Which when Blood I, Brothers? When I was in school. <laughs> Which? No, listen. Oh my God. Listen. No, no, no. First of all, we are not going. We cannot disrespect Blood Brothers. What in my presence? Blood what Brothers Blood to Brothers this day is, is one of hard. the theater productions that made me love the theater yeah, so it's much. Crazy. Right. Yeah, it was have you so seen Blood good. Brothers? No, you know I didn't grow up in the UK. It's so true. So, 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 I was so good. Blood Brothers is for, well, um, for was drama, this? wasn't it? Yeah. Drama did this. How long ago was this? In year eleven. Year eleven. GCSE. Wait, we now had to do right up about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved the Blood Brothers. So yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. What's he back with? Two brothers. Yeah. 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 I I yeah. He he but so much has happened in life now. Uh, I remember going. Uh, but when you start talking, I can remember uh, certain scenes. Okay, so Blood Brothers. The synopsis is basically that there were two brothers who were separated at birth. That's it. Twin. That's it. Yeah, the twins. He sat he sat through two hours of a show. You can't remember it. I can't Neither. even go. I swear to God, I went. I got, I got A star in drama, bro. That's oh, the damn. only thing I passed in school. Oh, wow. Failed everything else. Like, literally failed everything else. But drama. Literally like, failed everything else, or are you exaggerating? Well, what's a pass? If you didn't pass, you failed now. See, did you get D's and below? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well wow. done on drama, anyway, Sha. Yeah, it's our gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Trust so, me, that like, <laughs> I wasn't good yeah, no, at well that. I know how to count. <laughs> Hey. So Blood Brothers was is about two um, twin brothers who are separated at birth. That sounds and so Nollywood, though. Mm -hmm. No, it's legit. If, no, but wait wait it's, until it's, I, I tell you more. <laughs> and you'll, you'll tell me if, if it wasn't Charlie. written by one Nollywood producer. So it's twin brothers separated at birth. One was adopted by a rich family. Guess what the other one was adopted by? Poor family. Poverty Poor. family. <laughs> So one was, uh, the other was uh, adopted by an impoverished family, but they grew, they kind of like grew, they became friends, right? But they didn't know that they were brothers. Were they didn't they know that they were brothers, brothers were they? Yeah, they, they didn't identical. know that they were brothers. No, they weren't Yeah, identical. they weren't identical. Right. They didn't know so that they were some oh stuff happened days. and one of them 
one of them died. It's not. Is it one of them or both of them? One of them died. One of them. One, one of, of them, them died. died. But it was just. It was just amazing. Honestly, I'm not giving. A you good have to watch it. Like yeah, you, you have to watch, watch it to it. actually yeah. understand it. But it's yeah. Top. yeah, yeah. But it's it's it's, it's it about six, yeah. Still. It explores themes of like um, class of different yeah, gener- family, yeah, yeah. brotherhood, different rich, and all poor. The, yeah, very layered it's love and everything. But it was good. It was really really. So do you prefer theater over cinema? I love the theater. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I have a few lined up actually. So, and the thing is, I love to go to the theatre by myself. So that like, because instead of, no, instead of like waiting for people to, oh, are you free? I just book it and I'll just go. Mm. So if a date, one second, if a date option, if you, if you met someone and the first date was to take you theatre, would that, Give oh, it is that. that an automatic like? It's not automatic because no, no, that's, like, that's, that's, that's what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> is that no, an automatic no, pass? No, no automatic, pass to the next what? stage. You think I'm going to fling pass. my pints because no, it's in the theatre. No, but <laughs> pass to the next stage. Okay, we could go on a second date. It depends. It's just it a depends. Date, it's just a date. Yeah. No, but theatre is. There's no. Because it's something that you like. I take myself to the theatre. So why would a man take or whoever I'm dating take me to the theatre? The dates nowadays is not theatre like, is it? Everyone wants to go and eat. I don't know. I don't really date. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't date? No, not really. I don't know how to believe. Really? I'm just a flirt. (laughs) 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 You people that are setting. You people that have high hopes. (laughs) Yeah. Bring it down. (laughs) Bring your ass down. (laughs) Life is so much more fun when you flirt, no? Who's in a relationship here? He's married. Oh, congratulations. Well done. You still flirt with your partner, though, yeah? Every day. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> Flirt, life is so much more fun when you flirt. Hundred no? percent. I mean, I act like I'm not married when I'm in the house. Like I'm moving to my wife again. Yeah, good oh, as it should be. Yeah, I just to that. keep it. You have to keep it fun, mm. man. Interesting. How long have you been married for now? Two years. Two years. Yeah, Crazy. How's it been? Coming up to my seventh year now. Shut your seven mouth. Years. Congratulations. Is that is that not the um, silver anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> or is it platinum? <laughs> silver is ten. Okay, no, well done. No, silver 10. Thank you well so done. much. Oh. Thank you. Everyone. Well, Do you. Does he look like someone that's <laughs> even been married man. for a day? He does. Yeah, he looks married that's to bad. Can you, you can all see by his cap. <laughs> <laughs> by his, his cap He's and like, his knees exposed right now. His like, shorts, you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Hey, yeah. guys, I know you guys came here for us to be like... Obviously, we're celebrating Shire, our achievement. And yeah, we're, we're going to start with... Um, there's a topic that we know is very, very precious to you. Mm-hmm. It's something that you're very vocal about, and that's um, giving blood. And we were just speaking about it amongst ourselves to say, like, why? Obviously, you've you've been doing this for a long time now. Mm-hmm. Why did, uh, be, be, having been doing this, why do you think black people don't give blood? Um, first of all, I I would refute that statement that black people don't give blood. Black mm. people do give blood. Um, well, on, there on has what been... scale? You just don't give blood. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, do you know someone that you gives get, blood? I, yes. Don't lie, man. You're a bloody liar. Why did you stop that? <laughs> he said that. You're a bloody liar. He stuttered and he still wants to, wants to play it off. <laughs> You're a bloody liar. You're a bloody you know liar. What I, mean? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I, I, haven't asked, I haven't asked. I haven't asked. That's why I don't know. But you'd be a good candidate to give blood because you don't drink. I don't drink. Even if you drink, you can still give blood. Can you? Yeah, even if you have, even if you have AS... Even if you're a carrier, you can give blood to yeah, alcohol. Even if you smoke weed, you can give blood. Yeah, oh, but obviously, like take a break. Yeah, like have have sense, mm. <laughs> have some decency. You don't come and be that. giving come people your rubbish blood. Your blood. <laughs> <laughs> come blood, come blood, blood of <laughs> blood of a drunkard. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants it. <laughs> yeah, blood that's, of a drunkard. That's tough though. But Do you give blood it. regularly? I give blood regularly. Yeah, every few months, like clockwork. But the the thing is, like, there was a point where you were advocating for a lot of people especially yeah. black people to give blood yeah why why did you feel like in that point you needed to urge black people to give blood and people in general to um give blood? because that's my community and like mm-hmm. my community is my priority like mm-hmm. why am i gonna be fighting for white people to give him blood well like, said. do you know what that. i mean like they don't need any help with with <laughs> they've got a lot of help. They're, they're, good. they're good they're good they're good <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're they're good. They're good. But it's because blood donation is matched um ethnically. So wow. the, um. there is more compatibility um and more of an acceptance rate with between blood donors of the same um yeah, ethnicities of mm-hmm. this of the same race, you know. Um That's and crazy. my passion for blood donation and you know, donating blood, etc., was 
born obviously of the um the loss that I faced with my sister who passed away from complications with sickle cell um with sickle cell disease okay. when she was nine. Yeah, so um, rest in peace. Yeah, I'm so sure. that was that was like that has been the only heartbreak I've ever experienced. Do you know what I mean? So like when it happened, it was what only a few months before her her tenth birthday. So how old were you then? So I was I was fifteen. Oh wow. And you remember it clearly. Right. Like yesterday. Wow. <laughs> it literally was like the most traumatizing thing that has happened to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like I literally I went to school one day and my sister was there. I came back that same day She's not. and she wasn't there. Yeah. And then I never saw her again. And so the last image that I have of her is of her on the sofa mm. with no energy, with no, like she had no life in her essentially. But obviously I was, I was 14, I was 15. I was, yeah. you know, studying mm -hmm. for my GCSEs and obviously it wasn't really, it's, it wasn't really the responsibility of a child to be, you know, looking after a child. And so mm -hmm. our parents were the ones who kind of bared the majority of the responsibility of her care. Mm -hmm. Like we knew, me by we, I mean me and my siblings, et cetera. We knew that, you know, that our sister has sickle cell, but we didn't really understand it. We didn't really, right. yeah, know, yeah, yeah. we didn't really understand. We didn't really understand Stand what was going on. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And and my parents as well, they didn't really understand it properly, you right. know, because even to this day, there are medical professionals, doctors, nurses don't who don't, who it. don't Understand, know really much understand about it, it and yeah. understand it. Do you know what I'm saying? So mm. I think had we have known what we know now right. about the condition and, about the state that my sister was in that Elizabeth, her name is Ellie, mm -hmm. um, was in towards the end of her life, there would have been so much so more much rapid action response, because yeah. we, we, like, we, no one, no one would have known that mm. she was at a point of no return, basically, because by the time she got in, she was at the hospital. Um, she had only 2% blood left in her body. So she, that's why she was so, she had no, like, she couldn't walk. Were they not able to give her blood? It, there wouldn't have been a point. She had no blood. She had 2% blood left mm -hmm. in her body. Mm -hmm. So her blood, her body had stopped producing blood. Right. So, like, it, I can't even imagine the pain that she was in. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't the type, she was never the type to complain. Right. Mm. And she was, she was a very introverted, she's probably the most introverted of the lot of us. I'm like, I come from a family of like, usually very big energy, mm. do you know what I mean? So yeah. she was very introverted. She was such a soft, such a gentle girl. So when she passed, it was, it, it, I, could, I couldn't, I couldn't, under, I couldn't understand. One, because I couldn't really understand the condition, mm -hmm. um, but also because I was, it was my first experience of, the death of someone in my family oh my that yeah. do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I had an older sister, um, after whom I was named, so I'm Adishai the second, mm -hmm. um, who passed away before I was born. Oh. Um, back in Nigeria. She was about maybe six months or so. But um, you didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. my it was only in retrospect that my parents thought that okay, cool, this is what that child had. Oh okay. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens, that happens in Nigeria a lot. Because yeah. my, my aunt's son, too, when he passed away through sickle cell, but a long time ago, they said, oh, it was malaria. It was typhoid. Mm. But, but it was, it was... Do you know what it is, though? I, I feel like they're more aware in Nigeria about, you know, the blood types and stuff. They are. They just don't have... Yeah, I think they're more aware they're of more the blood types. Than, because everybody... In in, don't they always ask? They always ask they, each other. They always tell you to do your yeah, blood but, tests and yeah. your blood type. But the thing is, I feel like they just don't have the facility to, like, yeah. look after and cure for things like that. Mm. Because literally, you used to be... because. This this is a baby that used to be sick every time, but yeah. no one really understood. Knew why it was sick. Mm. Yeah, every time he was always sick. Every time, every time he was always yeah. sick. But obviously, like later, that's when we found out. It's, oh, yeah. yeah. When you and talk to girls, do you ask them their blood type? Honestly. Do you guys know your blood types, by the way? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We I don't. I don't. I, I, I just I'm know. Not sure. I just. But I know I, I got a good know, one. I know. I, I just know I'm. I'm in. A, I'm in a strong group that can. I can <laughs> 
That's the group. That's the group I was talking about. I don't know whether it's A A or what's what's the what's the A A A S R the carriers Alpha African. So you know how you mentioned that you knew what was going on. You knew that she done well. I'm really sorry. Um, not to like take away from you. Um, what you were saying about your your sisters, mm-hmm. we do understand. Like we sympathize with you, mm-hmm. not just like we're not moving on sweetly from. Oh no, no, no I don't worry, I understand. What yeah, we just discuss. Don't worry. Um, so you, you no, I'm sorry. It's the comment people do. <laughs> say, look at this video. They are very useless. <laughs> yeah. You get the point. They didn't let her finish. They didn't let her finish. Sorry, you we know, brought that, it back. <laughs> that happened. That happened in, yeah. in one of the um the videos that I did with <laughs> yeah, um bro. with with Netflix for um Super Soul oh, when yeah. I was yeah with rap when man. I was so I literally Super Soul, yeah. read the comment. They said this guy is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> people didn't let her finish what she was saying. But the way it was edited. It was the way. But he he DM'd me. And he said, "Oh, I'm sorry if it bro, if it came across that way, bro, bro. Like I was like, that's just how conversation is. Yeah, it's very, yeah, yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? There's always interjections <laughs> and, and stuff like that. But but yeah, it was um as you were saying, you did a great job with that interview, by the way. Thank you, you thank you. Well. It was. But what was I great. was gonna say was, you know how you said that at the age of 14, 15, you knew what was going on. Did you at that point know your blood type? Like, were your parents like, you know, really making a big fuss about, you know, your AA, this, you know, your blood type, get everyone get tested and all of that? N- no, because we were, we were kids. Right, so right. they, do you know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't really something that we needed to necessarily know. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, since my siblings have, you know, started like dating and having kids and stuff like that, yeah. like everyone is always like, okay, cool. Especially with the loss of my sister, mm-hmm. everyone, my parents have been like, okay, just make sure you check your blood type, mm-hmm. check your blood. And right. all of my par- all of my siblings, we already know. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? We already, mm-hmm. because we've experienced what the consequence of being absent-minded right. to your knowing. blood type and your blood group, mm-hmm. et cetera, can be. So, so, sorry to interrupt you. Because, you know, it's been on the social media sphere that a lot of people now, they're getting into relationships, they're dating people, yeah. And when it comes to getting married, they're not able to move forward because they're not compatible. Yeah. So do you feel like, go on. Go no, on. no, no. So, so do you feel like our parents should do that job of from a young age, let us know that, okay, get tested. This is what you are. This is your blood type. Mm. And this is the type of person you should date. And this is like, like when you're dating, you should ask these questions. Do you feel like it's important that parents should do that? Yeah, that's, yeah, of course it's important. Um, But that's obviously for children, you know, like mm. I feel like those are the kind of conversations that you, that parents should be having once the children are, once they start dating. Do you know what I mean? Like once they're like, you know, even mm-hmm. before they start dating, from yeah. when they're able to conceptualize and understand that, of okay, course, cool, yeah. well, it is. this thing is important. This could be the result. So from like teen years. Mm-hmm. So I would say that I, I've i known my, my um, I've known that I was AA from when I was a, a teen. I think it was even, it was definitely even before my sister passed away, you know, because we, the word sickle cell, it was, we heard it a lot in the house. Mm-hmm. But then we didn't really know. And then our parents, like, you know, I asked, I was just, oh, what, what is that? Mm-hmm, what does that, mm-hmm. what does it mean? And blah, blah, blah. So mm-hmm. they explained that to us. So mm-hmm. going back to blood donation, it was, it was that, the, it was that reason that I started donating blood yeah, because, right. do you know what I mean? Because having gone through the heartache of losing a sister, right. not even just losing a sister, but losing a sister to, in a way that could have been so avoided. Right. If... And that's you the just key knew. word. Yeah. It, it was so, and there's a there's a level of resentment. There's a level of of anger, and all these other emotions that that I still feel towards and I still system, hold. Or? Not towards the system, towards, in all honesty, towards my parents, oh. um, towards myself, towards my older siblings. But you were a child. Yeah, but still. Mm-hmm. It's even it's. Uh, I Do can, you know what I mean? Like I can I can relate to it because my my uncle passed away. But the night before he passed away, my mom said to me, "Uncle Isaac, rest in peace. He's very sick. Pray for him." But one boy as a kid, I went to bed. Mm-hmm. Like, I up in the <laughs> Sorry, no, I don't mean God to laugh. Me. He's somebody that I, I love. Like he's somebody that I actually <laughs> love. So, but I was I was a young child, probably mm. like seven years old. But my mom, obviously, she was helpless, and she just said, "Like pray, Uncle Isaac is actually very very ill. Please pray for him." But as a child, I went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, was dead. Till today, I still used to say to myself, oh, if only I prayed. 
maybe you've mm, been alive. No. no. But no. obviously, obviously, you, no, you know no, that. Oh, yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously you know it's that. not. It's just like it's just human. It's just us being yeah. human. Yeah. yeah. If oh yeah, that if only we come only, back. Yeah. yeah. Just because the, that's the only way that you can deal with the grief. Yeah. Like, like that's one of the ways to say, oh, if only I had prayed. Yeah. Like for I'm I'm not religious in it, so prayer has you never know? been no. Prayer has never been. We have a very strong Muslim man though. Rihanna, Rihanna, not, yeah, it's yeah. even Rihanna too. Rihanna. But my daddy now came and changed it on the on the passport to to, to Rihanna it's today. Yeah, it's, it's Rihanna. Don't mind the <laughs> Don't mind, people. Rihanna don't too. mind it. But Rihanna it's because too. I I have <laughs> literally I'm named <laughs> after my um I think my great aunt. Um, but yeah, like with the resentment and the mm. emotions, it's all part of grief. But I remember, you know, I I. It's really hard for me to talk about. That's the thing. Like, I remember her being on the sofa yeah. and being sofa bound for a good, f- a good few days, if not weeks, right? And me as a 14, 15 year old, I knew that there was, there was something seriously wrong. Mm-hmm. At the time, my m- they had just come back from Nigeria, right? So she had gone to Nigeria, I believe, for the first time. She, they had just come back from Nigeria. And I think that's what kind of triggered it. I think she must have, I think, or yeah, something, like, yeah. Something, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, my mum had, my mum contracted malaria while she was out there. Mm-hmm. So my mum was hospitalised, obviously, for malaria. During the time my mum was hospitalised, that's when my sister was, that's when her, health really started taking a toll Mm -hmm. and obviously my dad was was having to work and you know it was just you know my mom's in hospital the daughter is sick Mm -hmm. there are still you know like teenage kids Mm -hmm. or bills or all these different things happening and so it was a lot for just for one parent to have to you know to juggle but Mm -hmm. I remember going back to the to your point about um prayer I remember my dad being really just like always he was just always working right and mind you we were like looking after my sister and making sure you know like just trying to do what we could to make sure that she was eating Mm -hmm. and drinking but she just didn't she didn't have the energy to to eat or to drink or anything and I remember my mum coming out of the hospital being discharged from the hospital the same day that she was discharged from the hospital Mere minutes after, my oldest brother and her took her to the hospital. And it was then that everything kind of like took a turn for the worse because she couldn't walk. So my brother had to literally carry her into Mm -hmm. the car, carry her out of the car to the hospital. And by that point, it was it was too late. And it was just a it was a crazy time because Mum was in hospital with malaria. My little mm-hmm. sister was was sick, having a ni- um, end of life experience. Right. My dad is was was working, and I remember a point of resentment that I have is like, even I knew that my sister was was really sick, mm-hmm. right? Even I knew, and so when I saw that my dad was, you know, like working and doing this, I remember he could see how sick she was and he just prayed. What's that going to do? So for people that are quite religious, they believe that prayers... Prayer will work. Um, work. Yeah. To, there's a point for prayer, of course. Yeah, but there's also a point for There was action. a point for, so, but yeah, for prayer, action. Prayer with no action. Exactly. Yeah, it was... That's, that's what it was. Yeah. It was just prayer no action right, obviously yeah. i understand like yeah, yeah, now yeah, that obviously yeah, like there's there was a lot going on you know like mum mm-hmm. sick in, in the hospital with malaria but dad's still. having to hold down the fort still having to work still doing this yeah. every all the my my siblings are Shout you know to immigrant teens. Parents, no though. it's it's a lot it's to have to handle that's, that's, it's yeah. a lot Especially to have to handle not, I, I don't know your family history probably maybe your dad wasn't working in like a regular nine to five job he's a psychiatric nurse oh, oh. So long 12, long 13 12, hour days. Long, yeah. hour shifts, long so yeah, so, yeah, like it's... that in itself would take your toll. Yeah, oh, with like you, you however many other children at home as well. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot. So mm-hmm. there was I remember being so like angry that it grief is such a difficult emotion to navigate mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. it's not linear. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's not just oh, 
I'm grieving at the moment of yeah, um, it's like there's stages. You know, yeah, yeah, there's, there's no stages. So many, it's, it's, I remember like the resentment, the anger, the disbelief, or everything was just like just moving through through me, and it was it was it's just a lot. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, of course. it was that that made me be so passionate about blood donation. It was that right. that made me so passionate about my little sister now. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it was from that loss of of our sister mm-hmm. that we now all swarm around Rebecca. We now all the minute she says she has a headache, bah, we're on her. Do you know right. what I mean? Like yeah. we've got the because the, the men. The Nigerian thing, they will just say, oh. Sick learning. Because yeah. I'm sick, boy. Yeah. They, because we, like, There's that like, lack of empathy. Yeah. 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 Was, was she the only one that had it? Pardon? Was she the only one that had sick herself? No, my other sister, Her Rebecca. Sister has it too. Yeah. Oh, the so one that's... Had, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was a very, very expensive lesson. Mm-hmm. Um but that it was a it was a lesson, learn. yeah, that we didn't need to learn that I still resent having but to learn that way. I do but love to see though the beautiful relationship we have with your little sister. That's the love of that's quite literally the love, love of my life. So much. Like and it comes this is from touching it to say, guys, let's be aware. That's what yeah. within yeah. the black community. Let's be aware. Let's let's not ignore signs. We know we have the black man blood in us, but <laughs> there's <laughs> many be... black men blood. <laughs> there's a be... lot of blood. Yeah. blood. Let's, yeah, let's, let's blood. know which blood, which black man blood it is we have. Yeah, <laughs> it can be a painful yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah, so let's just make so, sure. So like, even just, just donate if you're able to do so. Uh, yeah. And, you know, like, like she said, prayers without action is nothing. I think so, I'm yeah. just scared. Scared, scared of what? To just donate, like, why? Well, it's not your of... spam. <laughs> You're not gonna have a child out of blood. <laughs> let's go. Let's move on well, to no, other no, no, injection. No, let's no, because there are some Running people. The blood. I a big man has been through a lot. Stop. You can't tell. That doesn't that matter. Even if I go to my GP to get an injection, I'm like. <laughs> but I could though seriously though. If your wife needed blood, you're gonna donate, right? You fem it. Don't even Don't do that, rubbish boy. Bro. What do you mean? You have to now. What do you mean? Um, Duh. <laughs> no, but it's, it's what is what is the fear? Needles. Yeah, just I just looking at the blood come out, and like, then I start thinking, wait, my blood's going. Wait, am I gonna be you, weak? Do you, do you get ST, do you get tested for STIs? In me? Yeah, I did. So how did you used Not to do it? Then? Yeah, but you, you no, but you can still catch an STI when you yeah. But, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So you people like you forget. even if you can you can catch it from the from the gym. No, literally yeah, because yeah, yeah it, it's uh, I don't know if it's right, but it lives within us or something. I don't, what HPV? It, it, yeah, yeah. Is that what it, it is? When it gets to so. a level that it can wait, let me not say what before. Don't go and say what before. <laughs> but it's easy to catch. You don't. It's right. not just yeah, like you said, you can catch it in the gym. You can catch yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, when they put so the you get the, woozy with blood. Yeah. <laughs> the way you like, said it. Yeah. Is what a Don't damn cell. <laughs> what like. a damn cell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, is, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> like, you have a big family. That means yeah. your wedding day is going to be crazy. How many how many yeah. siblings do you have? Uh, uh No, I'm actually wow. screaming. You know if you can't say the number That's of her active. Dress. After them after those long hours. <laughs> <laughs> It's putting, it's putting so, in extra shit. So, so there were originally eight of us, but now they're six. Wow. Oh yeah, obviously the elder, your elder sister. Yeah, the last older sister, sister and then and yeah, younger Elizabeth. one. Yeah. Are you all girls? Oh no, you said you no, had no, a brother. No, no, I have three brothers. Older than you. Yeah. What number? Are you? I have two older brothers and one younger brother. He's also my baby. And with your yeah. single parent, like same family, same mom, same dad. Um, all, all, all but one. Right. So my oldest sister is my um is my half sister on my dad's side. Right. But everybody so else has been Shia's dad is, is a city boy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a city boy. Very dumb. <laughs> very silly. <laughs> but so yeah, you're the so family. fourth I'm it's just, it's just, the, the number doesn't so matter. I'm the favorite. Saying, like, are you looking for <laughs> the number doesn't matter whether yeah, I'm the first like, favorite, I'm the favourite. Ah, energy. Energy. Am I dating? Not, not really. I don't. Do you know what? Yeah. Is there someone that would be offended if you for them mm. to see? Let them, let them go. She's gonna be saying that. Let me, let me hear what she's gonna let say. Me, let, me, <laughs> let me catch that. <laughs> <laughs> let me catch that. Let me catch that. Let me catch that. So, what did you mean when you so said? So plead the fifth. No. You can plead the fifth if you don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. Marriage is not something that I think about. Oh, damn. at all. Oh. Like at all. 
That's crazy. You don't come across like that, you know. Really? Yeah. I don't come across as any of the things that I am. I don't know what that's that is. True. Maybe because I don't know. Like, yeah, I would think I'm like just, I'm so, I don't know. That would be look, but do you like, you like Nigerian weddings? Like the culture? Oh, oh yeah, of your course. Mom so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big mm-hmm. fan of, of, your mom of talk Nigerian about weddings. It, though? What, me getting married or just Not married you, in like, general? Just weddings, married, you yeah. getting married. No, she stopped. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She stopped. No, because I'm so sorry. I'm fighting for my life with bills. You're asking me what I'm going to marry. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do Not that. Me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I get, obviously, like, they want to, you know, do the whole wedding thing. They want to, you know, celebrate and they want to, you know, take comfort in the... Yeah, it was a thing of joy, but there was so... I'm a very <laughs> excellent... Child, there's many things you can celebrate in my life if a <laughs> wedding is not to be, to does, be celebrated. Does you being, know, does being a creative play a part in you not wanting to get married? No, even from when I was young. Right. You yeah. know, when when people say, "Oh, like when some um when some women will be like, oh, I've been thinking about my wedding from mm-hmm. however That's long me. I've been thinking about.'" Blah, blah, blah. I know yeah, what dress I'm that's wearing. That's what I'm saying. I know the ring I want. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know where I'm getting married. Don't Joseph. don't I ask me on of those. I've never given it. So if he doesn't get you the ring yeah. you want, then what? Well, we're not getting married though. <laughs> yeah. very, I've waited too long, it's very bro. Come on, Koto Venom. She mom, knows what she wants. My exactly. mom. She already bought the jewelry, jewelry really? that she's gonna wear on my wedding I should be loaded already. Yeah. Like she already bought the jewelry. It's in safe in the bank. Like what she's gonna wear on my wedding yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, I love that for you guys. Love sorry. That. I don't know. I, it's just never been. So even before. I don't know. But just... so even before like stepping into your creative bag, mm-hmm. you've just not been a fan of weddings. It's not that I've not been a fan of weddings. Not wanting it. Please invite me to your wedding. I want to come. No, don't yourself. We want to come to your wedding. wedding. We want to come to your wedding. Wait, you didn't even answer that question. Right? Like, she oh. asked if you were seeing somebody. If I'm seeing somebody. Yeah. And... That smile. We, we don't want we'll cut the clip out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing something? I just sit out. Ah! You're smiling. She's blushing. She's, she's blushing. Right, right now it's, it. it's, it's, no, no, it's, on, it's on the okay. stage of are we seeing or are we no, talking? No, no. She's seen somebody, but she's never said it publicly. No. Before. That's do, what it is. Do you know what it is? Yeah. There's someone there. Do you know what it is? It's not. I don't know. Don't upset. Don't go and lose this. No, no, no. Don't go and lose. Oh, don't go and lose. 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 Don't go Focus on romantic relationships. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but even like I said, even for when I was young, like I never thought of, you know, I've never dreamt of being in a relationship. I've never given so much. I've never been like, oh my goodness, all I need right now is a man to love me. All I need right now is, is mm. somebody to love so me. All I need right now dreams. is blah, blah, blah. It's not even selling dreams. It's just like, I just don't, I'm just very. Do you not get lonely though? I mean, you've got your sister. No, oh. she doesn't. She's, she's, Loneliness doesn't, there are people who, there are, there are people who are married who are lonely. Facts. That's there are true, people though. who are Facts. who have kids who are lonely. There are pe- like they just because Preach. you see somebody who has been. There are a lot of our parents who are married that have no business being married. True. Literally, <laughs> they don't have business they're being married. Let alone they're having they're children. Just, let alone just, having as many married. children as they do. <laughs> but because there married. is, there is, especially within um, Nigerian Yoruba culture, culture yeah. there is so much. There's such a, I think maybe that's, maybe it's that, maybe it's that energy, that vibe <laughs> mm. that has just put me off. Not wanting maybe it, it is just because it just around. seems so like, why, why is it like, it doesn't make sense to me why it's such so a big deal. Because do you want, you, you, you don't want to get married or... You, marriage, you just don't, you don't I care. Don't, I just don't care. Like, like, you don't happens. care if you do or you, you don't. Yeah, like I'm, it. I'm very... I have everything that I that I that I want. I have everything that I need. I can't like if I get married, I get married. It's not like, oh gosh, I guess I'll get married. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'll be happy. Like it's my life. Any mm-hmm, kind mm-hmm. of happiness and joy and I love the people in my life. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But my joy does not singularly come from, you know, being in one romantic relationship. My do you know what I mean? Like it's 100%, 100%. it's never it's not something that I now will use to to you know, make sure do that uh, like it's like not oh yeah lost. oh I'm married look at me I'm a married woman Literally. okay people get married so, every day what do you want though? I don't know if I want kids what huh 
Is your your mom's going to watch this episode? Let her watch it. She already knows. <laughs> She'll be like, shut your tip, mommy. Yeah, she already knows. It's no, she. Do, do, do you know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> 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 do you know what it is? Yeah. I'm. I'm not the. I'm not going to mince my words. I'm not going to do something for the sake of making my parents happy. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get married just so my parents can come to my wedding. I'm not going to have kids just so that, because at the end of the day, it is my life. Right. Nobody, and I've always been a stubborn child like that. Mm-hmm. Like, no one, you're not going to make me believe anything that I don't believe. You're not going to make me do anything I don't mm-hmm. believe. Mm-hmm. You're not going to make me you know, like, you're not, it's just not going to happen. Like, it's, I if I, it. if I, you know, if I do decide that I do want children, then okay, cool. I'll have, I'll have children. But if not, then, I then think no. a, lot, a lot of Nigerian kids need to have your energy. Because, like, I just don't, like, mm-hmm. so many people are miserable. No, so many people, people feel, actually do, like, not, actually, no, no, of course, people, of course. Not a lot of people. A lot of people uh-huh. just do things to make their parents happy. Yeah, and like, and the thing they're, is, they're yeah. They're miserable and they cheat. And, they, and do you know what? A lot of our parents and previous generations, a lot of them who got married, who had kids, mm. did not want to have children. Yeah. But you need to understand the context in which they were raised. Very Women different. were still very much dependent on Men. 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 Mm-hmm. So marriage was a form of stability, was a form yeah. of financial yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? No, 100%. Children was a form of of you know legacy, right? Social the reason exactly reason the reason so many even um, polygamy. The reason why our our forefathers and some of our <laughs> fathers even to this day had many no, many yeah, wives was four. because children were seen as bragging rights. Yeah. Children in that society, children were seen as the wealth of my, the man. My mom Do you get what I'm saying? 11. And my granddad had six wives. Because there is that. Man. Do you get know what I'm saying? Because there yeah. is that. There was that social idea that, that children, <laughs> children were the children yeah. was the wealth. Your your the amount of kids that you, you had have, is yeah. the wealth. Mm-hmm. That's what that you know that um, yeah, yeah. polygamy. That's what it's that true. came but from. But I think from the woman's perspective is that you need kids to make you feel whole, fulfilled, to make you feel like a woman, like a wife. Like yeah, and they're all a lot of right. these things are steeped still, in yeah, misogyny like and anymore, old. Though. Yeah, no, it is still like it's that. It's still like that. You what know? do you mean? You, did I, I listen? I just said that I don't know if I want kids. Uncle over there said, "Hey." <laughs> Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, like it's such a crazy no, thing for women no, saying, to not, not want like to have children. People, people looking from the outside, they might have opinions on whatever they have about it. What I'm saying is for the women now, mm. they're taking it upon themselves. No, because she had done a double whammy. She said, I don't want to get married. I don't want kids. <laughs> and I don't have kids. <laughs> she said, I have double on the side. It's, it's, it's not that double I, on the side. It's, it's, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not that I don't want kids, want, but I don't want to be no, married. Or I want to be married, but I don't want kids. It's, it's not that I said, don't want to get married. I don't married, care about marriage. I don't care about marriage. It's just not something I can... It's just... It's just not something I consider right now, like at all. Like I'm just not. Do you think Nigerian weddings are too extra vegan, though? Um. But that's us. You're asking a, a drama queen. I love her. I love her. Thing. <laughs> like, the bigger the better. I that's love That's Nigeria, it. man. I love it. Do you think forty k, forty thousand pounds is spending it on a wedding is? If that's what the person wants to spend on their wedding, that's what they yeah, want to spend on their yeah, wedding. That's, 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 that's kind of light. My own thing is... <laughs> how much, is how much was your own how, wedding? How you well, his your wedding way? was yeah. in Jamba's video. Do you know the so Jamba's in... in no. Nah. You promote that more than he does, mate. I'm, nah, I'm just you. letting people know the magnitude of his wedding. The wedding <laughs> so it was, was big. It was a very yeah, big. I done my wedding in Nigeria. How oh, much, I how love that. Spend? Put a budget to it. You don't have to give us the exact... Yeah, yeah, how much you spend? Yeah, range. In, in pounds and naira, so that we How the total spend, spend of the wedding. Yeah. No, like yeah. you, yeah. from your own pocket. No, no, no. no wedding no, is the family. No, I know. Just so that we can have an idea, like they will go to the um the wider expense. You as the a wider man. expense, the total. No, no. Of, you as a man. off the top of my head. <laughs> me as a uh, it, the, the spending didn't stop though. Okay, so okay, I couldn't okay. I couldn't put them out on how much I spent. Okay, the wider total. Probably like. <laughs> <laughs> Same 30, man. 40, 50, yeah, 50. Naira or? Naira. Uh, my dear. How can it be Naira? What kind of question? 50,000 Naira. Yeah, Naira. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That is even, that no, is, you know, you know what that is in here? That people hear me say, sorry. Do you know what you're saying? May 50, Okay. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah, the conversation be that's been uh, like going on in social. Like, there's a girl that Again. asked the question. Shout, uh, um, what's these her name? these same topics get recycled every. No, 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 no
extravagant Nigerian weddings. Mm. Like, how are people able to actually afford it? Like, people, no, but this like, is what I'm saying. Some people, in, in this, this is this is this is some people's best moment in their life. Yeah, and so a lot of people have been saving yeah, exactly. up for it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? In my my missus is her dad's her dad's only daughter. Oh yeah, so there we go. He's yeah. gonna go crazy, ah. and regardless, yeah. That's he's only doing it once. Yeah. yeah. For his daughter, do you know what I mean? So yeah. other families, they might just be rich that when it comes to weddings, this is what we're doing. They might and spend more on a wedding than a family thing. It's not just one yeah, person. Everyone just, chips in. Yeah, 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 no, no, definitely. I fire my wedding. But what if like yeah. you come from like a family where it's probably like you're the only person that is still offending from all those people that you're asking to come Then you do the wedding you, do, you, call, do you cut your coat and to your size. Like, Simple. Be, if you're a guy and that if your wife wants if then you should not, then be you, should, yeah, you should not be marrying that person at that stage. That, though. It's true no, though because, because you would have that conversation okay, the before. The question is not jamming. Yeah, the question is don't don't do that. You, you why are you going to marry I'm someone? I'm asking that? for myself. I'm no, just, but I'm just this saying where like, the follow up questions. On yeah, no, hundred percent. <laughs> but that would, that would, that would be a conversation that yeah you, you have, shouldn't like, have. Me and my missus, we wanted to do our wedding in Nigeria. I've always said when I get married, because I never get married here because I just believe if I would. One, she wouldn't enjoy the wedding if it was here because mm. everybody well, you, will be like, I'm going to Hack's either. wedding. Yeah, but I know more people than her. Mm. So she, mm. the, the shine would be more on me than her. In Nigeria, yeah, our friends flew out, but it was all yeah. her. It was her day. I just attended. That year, you guys <laughs> funded what? The that, you, that, that, I just attended to yeah. the point that it was... I saw her her first dress. I'm like, wait, hold on. You didn't tell me about this one. <laughs> what's, I'm just in some black eyed man. I'm like, no, nah, <laughs> what's going on? And I was like, like, cool. This is your day. I'm just here. If oh, it was here, I love that for her. Though. I, I love know that too much guys. people. It would have, all the attention would have been, oh, we're going mm. hacks wedding. Then people that you don't want is gonna come. Yeah. Evil eye is gonna di- come to Nigeria if you if you if you have power. <laughs> Come, Fly out. come on, invited if you have fun. Come, you're gonna spend think, money on a ticket. I think the main thing is just do what you want because you want to. Literally, yes. and that's why I respect my father-in-law that's, that's because that's what, what he was on. Like, if you want to get married and you know there you want was, to get married, then get married. Yeah. If you, if and it's also okay to not know. Mm. Yeah, it's okay to not know. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't. You don't he didn't need to rush. have definitive answers. Like, yeah. I'm like, if I don't have my own biological children, I will adopt children. Yeah, I will. Like, it's that's something that I know that I have been thinking about from yeah, when I was young. A wedding, never really thought about. Uh, uh, a husband, never really mm. thought about. <laughs> no, legit. But like, I've always known that if if it's not that I I have an orphanages because I love children. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I I just feel like children are the most precious they're the most precious things in this world. Do you know what I mean? And like, that's why I was I like, hey? yeah, no, but just because, no, like, <laughs> but, but now that you've explained this, I get, yeah, I, no, I get, like, I get, like, I thought you didn't want kids. If you don't want kids, you don't even want, want no, to sit next to you. Know you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I love, be, like children love me. Like I love being around kids. I have a very like, very, um, I have fun energy. I have like yeah, young. Yeah, yeah, do you know course, what I mean? I have yeah. like I can relate to, to children. I was I was splashing in public public fountain before this podcast, and it was my idea to do so. So I love children, but again, it's just do what you want because you, you want, want to. to do it. That's all that it is. If you do not want to have children, it's do okay. not yeah. have children, and it's even crazy, if that man. means having to deal with, because in some extreme cases, families will 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 just not. 100%. Will not deal with you. They'll be so disappointed. Well, they will yeah. ostracize you. Yeah. But you need to. You need to double down. Stand you need to stand your ground. Yeah, that's what it is. Stand I'm your ground. Mama, babe, it's not the ones that will. They'll, they'll, they're not the ones that will be helping you raise those it's children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, because when you now come and say, and the worst thing is, yeah, when you have a mother who did not want children have kids. Do you know how much resentment? Even yeah, if peak. that, even if, that's and the peak. thing is, yeah, just because the mother resents the child doesn't mean that the mother doesn't love that the child. child. Yeah, it's just that but she didn't still, want to have kids. Yeah, yeah, and there's a lot of females there have been out there so like many that studies still. that show that the quality of the child's life is directly related to the quality of the mother's life and how happy the mother is. Hundred yeah. percent, and I, that is a fact. Hundred percent, I would never. That's that's very true. Now, when you look at how your parents even brought you up, this happy. is what I'm you know saying. What I mean? It's very true. So many make... children are being raised in conditions of survival and not and like, bro. Like so many of our of our stories of our childhood is oh yeah, I was beaten, I was done this, I was. Bro, your mum didn't want you. Your mum did not want to have. Your mother did not want to be a mother. <laughs> she did. 
<laughs> no, I, like, it's not even funny. Like, it's genuinely, like, like, your mother you did not want to be a mother. You didn't want to have, and it's still stressing me. Yeah, like, and <laughs> let's not have, like, a lot, like, there was a lot of, yeah, a lot man, of a lot women. Of, what's it called? Um, abuse, man. That's what yeah. they say. say. It's not beaten, bro. It's not discipline. It's, most of it is, like, It's abuse. abuse. What, did you, did you get beats when you was young? Oh. <laughs> Different, man. Look at my hand, like this is Mate, nice. I, I, Th- that's that's not funny to me. That's not that's yeah, not like, that's not I okay. I got beats for doing dumb shit though. And that's not okay. Well, no, like really dumb shit. Though. Like I now look, but, now look no, back so, at okay, I deserve guys, the beat. Let's, let's, no, 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 <laughs> no. You're a child. True. Exactly. You are a child. You're meant to do all these things. If like, you, if you, as a grown adult, can look at a child that has made a mistake that is scaffolding their understanding of the world from mistakes, from touching things they shouldn't <laughs> touch, from eating things they shouldn't touch, from running into places they shouldn't touch. And you think that the appropriate response to teach that child that does not have the, cap- the mental cognition to be huh. able to differentiate between right and wrong mm-hmm. is to beat them. You have no business having kids. Let me find out somebody has laid a hand on my sister or my niece or my child. I will go to war. That is a child. You need to, like, a child is not capable of understanding. That's why you're supposed to teach them, not beat them. True. That doesn't make sense. I've never, I've never once laid a hand on my little sister, but that girl fears me. But she, it's not even just fear. She respects my authority Would you say and the she times loves have changed, me. Though? No, I don't think I don't know. I don't know. Maybe of course times have changed. Yeah, Come, like for, for, the way for some parents, people yeah. still think. But before I would say like the parenting was very bad, man. From our parents' generation. They just it just It's I just, just trauma on top of trauma yeah, on top of yeah. trauma, yeah. just they, they, generational, they, they, just, like, just passed down. I just see people like people will be beating their kids because they're going to watch football. Like That's crazy. I mean I say my beatings was like thirteen. Yeah, but this, From when you are, were this one is an animal. I'm sure you had <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> to like not what childish. You, what's, I was just doing some dumb shit. You were stealing. No, 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 no. I just like wasn't what? picking what up her calls. What? Like I'll be outside. She'll be calling me. Well, you and... shouldn't even beat your child because of that. That's no. not. That's yeah. not. See, yeah. See, that's what no, I'm like, saying. Like, I'm outside, yeah. If I'm I hold a box outside like, for like, one hey. week, bow. Hey. No. <laughs> in front of my friend, boom. Yeah, and the thing is, yeah. Even, oh, and yeah, the thing is, guys, about, let's not even talk about punishment. <laughs> I think we stop punishing Think about it as well, yeah. yeah. I'm not, yeah, the, her, the beating of, you're talking about, hey, yeah, you still. The amount of, like, um, mental <laughs> illness, undiagnosed mental illnesses in our communities no, that we don't talk about. The amount of, the lack of understanding of, can you tell me ADHD? ADHD. What is ADHD to um, to typical um, oh, yeah. Nigerian parents? What's that? Just fuck up. They'll, they'll yeah, beat true, you and think the whole time ADHD? the child is on the spectrum. Right. Yeah, that's not. That, you say that's not a serious so illness. Beat, yeah, yeah. And, then you, no, and then you no. And then the thing is, have beaten yeah. you well, well before they. Even, and that's <laughs> that's not how you. that's not how you deal. That's true. Still. That's not how you raise a child. You're supposed to meet the child where they are. A lot of parents do not understand their children. Yeah. How can you raise a child you don't understand? How can you raise a child yeah, properly that's true. that you don't understand? I, I pick up and my parents, parents they don't actually want understood to, us. A, a lot of parents, there are <laughs> parents. Knew. Okay, this one. Let's go that way. This one. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, and <laughs> so even even if it's not just beating, like my dad tried to push me, push all of us to be nurses because he was a nurse, and that's how he, that was his. Um, get out of poverty card, right? That was what he <laughs> at least one of to these get nurses. out of um of Nigeria. You know, he came over, he was invited over to be a, a nurse. He brought us over, so that is his survival story. That's how he knows that. Okay, cool. At least I know the NHS will do this. Blah blah. blah. So it was from his experience that was that was the cap of his experience because he, all he knew was oh. The, uh, 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 a life a career in the NHS you will always have a job These are the look benefits. at the NHS now yeah. it's true <laughs> he was trying to push everybody my my family are very artistic and autistic as well <laughs> <You're> <laughs> so my annoying. brother is whoa on the spectrum <laughs> but it's like <laughs> why are you laughing Daniel? <laughs> no it's a blessing yeah, why are you laughing <laughs> Because we can talk about it. Yeah, no, it's true. Because we understand. And even, like, my, and we get it mostly from our dad. Do you know what I mean? But, like, and it's just ironic because he was the one trying to push everyone into nursing and doing this. I have a brother, a brother, my older brother, Chris. He is so 
ta- like the amount of talent that that man has has always blown my mind. Right, he's an amazing artist. He's so he's he's um we suspect that he's autistic. Um, we haven't gotten him like diagnosed, but you can't bro, spend an hour with him. You're like, yeah, that boy's on us. That boy's <laughs> autistic. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> like until now, and he hasn't been diagnosed. No, he's not been been diagnosed now. But he knows he he's the kind of autistic person who is like he's very very self aware. Do you know what I mean? So like he was like, I think I'm autistic. And I remember when he brought it to my dad, and my dad was like, oh, "No, don't say that. Don't say that about yourself." Mm. It's just like, bro, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's, yeah, just yeah, manage it. Like, it's not a it's bad not, thing. It's, not, it's, like it's just that his brain is wired differently. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but my dad tried to push everybody to now be going, be doing nursing. If I was a nurse, ha. Huh? <laughs> Bro, it yeah, wouldn't let's, work. Man. Let's let's, let's touch on work. that because you worked. I feel like you you worked in the NHS as a carer. I worked in the NHS as a as a cleaner. Um, Wait, from, was you born here or Nigeria? I was born in Nigeria. I came here when I was five. Wow. What? Mm. Okay. What? <laughs> I, I Did you thought I was born? I, I was swear, born I swear, in the hotel. So well. My parents. My parents. Yeah, but they're yeah. still like botic. But even like, I don't, I don't feel like my Yoruba. Honestly, I would give Yoruba my Yoruba two. Yoruba nah, is good. Yoruba is not two. Over ten, you, you're probably one. like a, my Yoruba is ten. Five. My Yoruba is ten out of ten. You know, you know my Yoruba. Yeah, yeah. So I have worked, to just be in the flow worked. with like I, you can't. If there I'm on the certain, spot, there were certain conversations that you can have. Do you know what I mean? Like, like and it's like, even when you say bruh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, did I just say? How did that game out so smooth? Now, my first one, you know what I'm saying? That's what I even want. But it's now, though. But first, that's how smooth it came out that I'm like, whoa, whoa, okay. Ask me to ask me to to speak, you um, talk about a conversation about politics and you're about, can I say anything about it? Because there's, there's words that I just would not have been introduced to because the proxy that I had for my Yoruba was my parents, which is just everyday conversations. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. You that's your, very, uh, very true. Yoruba movies too. Yes, I did. Because that's, how, that's actually yeah, how we picked up the language though. Yeah, of course. By just everyday conversation. Everyday that's how I picked up. But I'm, yeah. My mum's speaking it to me in everyday conversation. Years, if you spend five years in Nigeria, you 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 would... It will be there somewhere inside yeah. of you. Yeah, but it's definitely it's there. It's, it's there, there the yeah, it's there, there for so, me. But yeah, there were other places that it could have been. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you know, like I have some of my siblings, obviously they were older when they left in it. So like my oldest um sister, she was, I think maybe f- 14 or ah, so before. That one understand your she, very, ah, well. very well. Do you get very so well. there's a part of me that feels like if I, I definitely know that had I you know, stayed in Nigeria mm-hmm. longer. Mm-hmm. My and because I pick up things quite quickly. Yeah. Um. And because I want to be able to pass down the language to, yeah, of course, to, to my yeah, children. Mm-hmm. Um. If I have children, or if not, I'll pass Disclaimer. it down to my niece. Uh, Abby. I, I <laughs> to like my niece and <laughs> nephew and my sister. But <laughs> so, Shai, at what age did you start working in as a as a carer? As a, uh, okay. So I started working. I've always worked within um the medical field. So I think maybe that's why I'm a bit more attuned to like, you know, like the importance of yeah. of health and, you know, all these other things. But um, so I started working as a cleaner in the hospital, um, the Luton and Dunstable Hospital, um, my local hospital back in the day um, when I was in year, I think maybe year 11, just as I went to sixth form. So when was that, 2014 or something? Maybe, no, 20. 13, 12? the World Cup on in that year? <laughs> yeah, so like, so I was a cleaner um, and then I became a healthcare assistant, so a HCA, so mental health. Mm. Um, so I worked there as um, agency for a few years. I can't remember how many years. I have a terrible memory and my sense of time is really bad. Um, but I worked there for a few years and I worked with, with everybody. I worked with children on... I worked with um, suicidal children, um, like teenagers who had eating disorders, who would like, who would need to be monitored like three, three to one. Three, seven to one. No, like it's, it's, it's a lot. Like yeah, some people I, I, are really going I've through I've also it. worked as a carer before. Mm. 
It's I, intense, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Intense. When Joyce, when even Joyce has walked yeah, out. Yeah, Joyce, said, yeah, bro. That place and will build your resolve. Me, me and Joyce, <laughs> It will yeah. tell you the life that you ah. actually want to leave. <laughs> me, bro, me, me and Joyce, yeah. We, we, we're so tight because think, oh, we have such, sim- such similar, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Like we both... Um, uh, had have some roots in in Luton. Both worked as healthcare assistants. Both kind of started coming her out around the same time in this mm-hmm. media space mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So that's my sis, man. But working in the in the health in industry, I've worked with suicidal children, like young young children, mm-hmm. with eating disorders, self harming, with with children with children and adults who are on very on all sides of the autism spectrum. I've worked with, with like, with murderers. I've worked with, with, with pedophiles, with, with so many people, men, people who have, do you know what I'm saying? So I've been exposed to a lot of, to the spectrum of what humanity is. So when did you pivot into being the creative industry? Um, And why? It became intentional. I became intentional about it mm. um, when I was doing my master's. So I feel like my master's was the catalyst right. for that. So I did my master's at um, Warwick University. In what? what did you do? Uh, global media and communications. Right, okay. Yeah. Breaking um, news. Breaking news. <laughs> news. news that is that breaking. Is breaking. <laughs> <laughs> I did my undergrad in journalism. Trust me, this has been, this right. has been, do you know what I mean? That has always yeah. been my, my mm. path, do you know? But... Um, so I did my um, master's in global media and communications and it was, I needed to be in that environment to separate myself from the life that I didn't want. I didn't want to be a healthcare assistant. I didn't want to be, you know, I didn't want to be a nurse. I didn't want to be, I just want, I didn't want to be anything that did not involve me being a creative in the ways that I like to be creative. Have you always felt like that's what you're meant to do? I am not a good employee. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm you not, held a job for many years, I'm though. Barely. <laughs> barely. She had to. That was it. Barely. How many times did you visit HR? <laughs> oh, my dear. Do you know what? Yeah, it was so bad. The only way I was able to survive employment was because I wasn't full-time employed. Right. Okay. So I was doing agency. So if I get banned from Move one on. place, I'll just go to another. Oh, on. On. I'll just go to another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's not me that you will suppress. Like, I will, we'll just tell the agency not to send no, you. Yeah, don't yeah, send yeah, no more like, uh, more like a simple. I'll go to another one. Simple. <laughs> so I never had like a full-time job because I, I, it's not... I'm too away with the fairies. Like I'm always thinking about, do you know what I mean? Always date you. Always Can I ask you, you something though? Because when we, if we're, like us, we're working with the agency, mm. but you, we get paid every Friday. Like, I mean, then yeah. you get paid like Friday. Yeah, yeah, Friday, yeah. Was it, did it make you good or bad with money? I've always been, I've always been good with money, but I, I feel like I was better with money then than I am oh, now. Wow. But I think to contextualize that, it's because Bills. <laughs> bills, bills. Back then, bills. I was living at home. I wasn't. I wasn't paying rent. I wasn't paying rent. What I wasn't rent? paying bills. <laughs> I was. You know what I mean? I was obviously stocking up the fridge and yeah, you know, yeah, doing what you doing can these, do. Doing this, filling up my mummy's petrol, doing this, blah blah blah. Just doing you know mm. those things. But obviously, so that obviously gave me a lot of you know like income that I could just you know, keep you know tuck away, go on yeah. holiday. And st- like at twenty three, I was approved for a mortgage. Oh, That's wow. how much I was able to save because I was just staying at home. Mm. But it fell through because literally one week before I was supposed to move into the house, the person who was um, selling cancelled. So I was like, oh. <clears throat> okay. So I just put my money into investment accounts, so like, into stocks and did you really You were really looking forward to moving out at that age. Yeah, because I wanted to get onto the property ladder. And that's yeah. still a plan of mine. But obviously, like, because that fell through and it was during my master's, it was around the same time of my master's as well. Um, I just thought, okay, cool. I just put the money in um, my um, investment um, and stocks and shares yeah. portfolio, make some money from that. And then obviously after my master's, I said, there's no way I'm going to be holding master's degree and I'm gonna mm. now yeah, be going to be going back to, you know. Mum's house. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, cool. But, and because... I just, I just need, it, it was just time. And my little sister was growing up. She needed her own space. So I just was like, okay, cool. Let me just pack out. Yeah, yeah, Fortunately, yeah. things with social media and everything had started, you know, like taking off, yeah. taking off for me. So um, I just, I just moved. Do you know what I mean? I, just, I what, moved what out. What was your thought process when you did your first skit? 
Actually, my well, the, the very very first the very, very first one the very very first what well, the very very first viral one or the very very f- the very, very first one where you very, sat very in front of the camera and you're like I want to do content and I want to post it so I wasn't I would just like I will just to follow up and yeah. also is the people always say um, there's no there's nothing that's original you always like take from mm-hmm. you have to take from somebody to mm-hmm. To do like create your own stuff is what what yeah like she said what was the process like? So the process for me the first um just to answer your um question first mm-hmm. the first ever video that I posted once I decided that okay cool like I want to do this thing is so during that time that's when reels were introduced right okay. and TikTok was becoming you know um, more more mm-hmm. of a thing. Mm-hmm. So I was just doing what I saw other people do that I saw mm-hmm. was, you know, success was doing well for them. Just mm-hmm. there was a trending sound, you make a video to it and you do that. But mm-hmm. I think I must have done maybe like th- two or three videos to <laughs> trending sounds. And I said, this ain't me, man. Like it's not, it's not me. It's not what I want to do. Yeah. I wasn't enjoying it. It was just like, and even if it does well, this is, I can't imagine doing this. Like mm-hmm. that's boring. I don't care. How, it wasn't you. authentic. It didn't, it wasn't mm-hmm. fun. It was just, whatever just doing it for the sake of doing things yeah. but the first viral video that i did that i can say was my content mm. was the when will i a again video mm. when everybody was you know was locked down everybody wanted to go to the club everybody wanted to party mm. everybody wanted to oh, yeah. shake yash you know mm. so i was literally in the middle of writing an assignment um for um i was in the middle of writing one of my um assignments and it just came to me because i have a history i have a um history of spoken word and poetry like i was a performance okay, poet okay, okay. before this yeah, yeah like i was a performance poet i started um during my undergrad um so i started performing during my undergrad and then i took a little bit of a break and then i wanted to get back into it again but then obviously ah, pandemic come oh, on it's what everybody. Time. nobody do you get so I thought, okay cool fuck it let me just take it online mm-hmm. So the first video that I, you know, can claim as my own was When Will I A Again? Mm -hmm. And that video took no longer than 30 seconds to think, to record and to post. (laughs) Like it was not a, it was like, as I was thinking it, I was recording, I was like, When Will I A Again? See, I ain't long for the day when the aim of the day is to A again. Mm -hmm. And I uh, Mm -hmm. did it, post it on my thing. Dropped my phone, went back to that assignment that I was resenting myself for, mm. for doing. I didn't want to do that assignment for so long. I didn't want to. And then my phone was just doing. Do you get? And I was just like, I saw the notifications. I was like, ah, oh, you people like this. Something that took me 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, for that. Like, no, okay. No, no, it was just, just, How it you know take what I mean? Me, yeah, yeah, like, it, po- poetry has like evolved and developed. <laughs> Poetry has evolved and Poetry. developed over the over um over the years, in it. So it's just been kind of like a transition of me being even more kind of like even just having even more fun. And I think mm-hmm. that's what underpins most of my content. It's just fun. Like I just like having fun. Like, like I see your content. And this girl's just having a good time. I'm just having a blast. Like, like when I'm you were, really just enjoying um, myself. Unboxing your um your sofa and you were just I'm just yeah. Like, yeah I was door. so <laughs> excited. I love that sofa. <laughs> but yeah, like for me, just the best kind of content is the ones that mm. um comes from you just being you. Mm. And fortunately for for me, I have one of those. Um, like one of those fun, bubbly, super extroverted but how have you personalities. Been able to stay authentic to yourself, because obviously you're now in the space. You're now a creator. You're doing really well, and obviously you have a management team as well. So they're probably going to be like, you need to do things that are, you know, sells. You need yeah. To. So how have you been able to stand your ground and be like, no, I'm going to just be shy, or I'm going. This is what sold me in the first place. So. It's. Do you know what? Yeah, it's hard mm. because. On one hand, you want to, you know, you want to explore the parameters of your creativity. You want right. to explore what I can do. And for me, I'm one of those overly confident people that's just like, there is nothing that I can't do. That's not energy. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, I could, <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I can do that. I can probably do that. Yeah. I can do that. Why? Yeah. Why not? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, but it makes it difficult to be like, okay, cool. I know I can do this, mm. but I'm going to focus on this, this. and really double yeah. down on, on this. Do you know what I mean? But trying to get a balance between, you know, um, sticking to being your 
authentic self and sticking to your authentic content whilst trying to, you know, do things that is also marketable and mm-hmm. things like that. It can be a bit of a Up of a balancing down, yeah. act. But at the end of the day, I just think that you just you just can't overthink it. You just can't overthink it. And I'm giving that advice as somebody who has let overthinking stop her from creating. Like I've not been as consistent with my content for ages because I'm overthinking because I'm now trying there's so many more factors involved now there's so many more it's not just about having fun Mm. it's about paying the bills it's about you know like is it gonna hit do you know what I'm saying like I I never worry about things that's what I was gonna ask you next do you you think do you worry about do you think about oh how are people gonna take this or are they gonna like it no no like and I think sometimes it can be a problem because there may be a perspective that you you missed. Not all your content is going to do well and not everyone is going to like all of the content, the content that you make yeah. because we, it's, you know, like it's from, we all have different perspectives and things. Some people are more sensitive to yeah, some yeah. things than other people are, do you get? But I think yeah. it's just, if, if I have missed the mark and I have, you know, done something wrong, I'll be the first to hold my hand up and be Mm -hmm. like, you know what? I get it. I see what, I see what you mean. I didn't see it before and that's not my intention. That wasn't my intention, Mm -hmm. but your intention doesn't mean anything. It's your impact. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even if you were, even if you didn't have any ill intent, it's your impact, Mm -hmm. you know? And because I'm a satirist, sometimes, even when I'm like actually being serious, sometimes people are like that. People are like, oh, I didn't know if you were being serious, serious or not. Blah, 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 blah. So sometimes the misunderstanding comes from people thinking that I'm not being serious <laughs> and then thinking yeah. that I'm joking about something. Mm-hmm. And then they've serious. now created this alternate narrative mm-hmm. whereby, you know, oh, Shia was taking the piss out of this. Oh, there's nothing funny about this. Shia has done this. Blah, blah, blah. I was just like, no, that wasn't what I was... No, like, do you know what I mean? But but can't like, please Shia, everybody. Shia's really do done get? different things. Like, you've even done podcasts. What happened with that? Yeah, do you know what? That was a Spotify exclusive podcast. Oh, okay. And then they cancelled it a one, amongst a bunch of other podcasts. Right. Nailing It mm-hmm. um, was the podcast. It. it was. It did really, it really did well. well. Like, we hit all of our, all of our KPIs. We mm-hmm. hit all of our targets. Mm-hmm. But Spotify went broke. Ooh. To be honest, that's yeah, really just, all it is. Just up, the economy just, is tight. Yeah, they just tight. Kept the major Everyone, ones, like, yeah, the like. And, and I was gonna ask in term because obviously your content is very to an extent majority is, is quite niche. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you have of it, like your management team? Have they pitched you to brands and then they'll just be like, nah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Like there's that happens with everyone. No matter how popular you are, no matter mm-hmm. how well you're doing. Like if your style of content does not align with the um the ethos or the narrative. the the narrative of a brand of course they're yeah. gonna go with mm-hmm. someone mm-hmm. i'm not i'm not a beauty girly i mm-hmm. you know i do like you know i can do oh, makeup i can do girl, yeah but, but there's i'm not a beauty girly. well done my dear I'm poetry emotion well done <laughs> Boy, well, did well you done. have one that you felt very like oh i would have loved to actually work with these people i would have loved that it would, it would have yeah yeah, work. yeah which, definitely which i can't remember was not for me. Yes, 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 please. Yes, there's memory. so many. Op- there's so many opportunities. <laughs> like no, like I have a, one. I have a terrible memory. Mm. But two, there's so many opportunities. Mm. Like if this, if you don't get this one, there'll be another one. Of like course, it's 100%. really not. I don't operate from a a scarcity mindset. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I'm not going to just be grabbing and saying yes Whatever. to every opportunity. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Like right. I say no to a lot of things. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because like one, I don't want to do it. Two, it doesn't make sense. Like. There was a, a a deal for I don't for a really really big amount, but it just didn't make sense for me to do. So, and because I never sell myself short, I never sell myself short. I never think, oh oh, I'm never gonna have another opportunity like this again. I'll have ten times better. Do you know who I am? <laughs> no, hundred. Do you know who you're talking to? Hundred percent. Believe in yourself. So I don't have that kind of like scarcity mindset that will now come and make me latch onto a shien. A Shein campaign or Shein, hey, Shein what's deal. Wrong with Shein? I like Shein. You can Call like me. Shein, but me, that's not what that's not what I that's I not that's brand. not my brand. Mm. That's not what I want to be promoting. Mm. I don't want to be promoting overconsumption. I don't want to be promoting all these like it's just not what that's I would want to do. Do you know what I'm saying? You I would know what want you to, want. 
that's not that's not what I want to mm-hmm. to be to be doing, you know. And obviously, sometimes it's a balancing act because sometimes the monthly bills are really coming mm-hmm. in. I was like, okay, you know what? Let I me do let me it. do let me take this. time, let me let me take do, time on side. Like something that I wouldn't. <laughs> Otherwise, say you know, be so enthusiastic yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, of course, like, okay, of course, of course, hundred percent. We live in a capitalist world. Sorry, money have to make. No, that's Fact. that's hundred percent. Money have to make. I, I feel like that just really rounds up how authentic you have like stayed to yourself, like in the process of being in the creative world, because you have friends in the creative world, yeah, industry, and they're probably like doing certain things, and you're like, mm, maybe I should consider doing this, and you're just like, mm, it's not. Me. Yeah, but like, like I said, like me, I can never look at the meat on somebody's plate and try to snatch it. I don't, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not so, like, I don't know. That's just not how I'm wired. Like, I'm very much, I have so much belief in myself. I have so much faith in myself. I have so much love for myself and for what I do that to now let myself get so panicked and scared yeah. That I'm just latching onto mm. any and everything is just is beneath me. I, I deserve better. So I hold myself to a higher standard Word. than that. I feel like that. that's what I mean. Like, I just feel like the integrity is to, really yeah. important to me. Bills, like, bills yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you don't. Yeah, yeah. No, no, of course. It's, it's, I'm, I'm it's saying it. From bills a, and believing in yourself yeah. anyway, though. You have to believe. A lot of people do stuff without believing in themselves just based on logistics. Yeah, of, but obviously, please, if you're watching this, apply some discernment if you need to pay your bills pay your bills say yes to that yeah. deal I beg <laughs> yeah literally please. don't go and say no please, please. Yeah, yeah. please. Yeah, discernment yeah. if it does not apply to you don't now come and be saying oh shall I say to say no to this no please go and make your money uh, this but, is off topic yeah but this just came to my head yeah because it's actually going on now you know the, you know the guy that they burnt his car the yeah. African man that they burnt his yeah. car yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so obviously I was reading reading up on it yesterday because I saw two sides of the story so what, I just want to know what everyone's take is Apparently, okay, cool. They raised, they done a GoFundMe for him. They raised sixty k. One story said that he wanted them to pay for a new Mercedes SUV, um, insurance for the year, house rent for the year, and um, uni, his uni fee uh-uh. off with that sixty k. They said no, we're gonna give you three grand to replace your car, and then give the rest to charity because he said that he didn't wanna give to charity what's your take on that who is who's right who is wrong or it's I not even like who's right have, who's wrong it's just they should have just given him his money at the end of yeah, the day because this isn't, it was no, they didn't expect for for them to get 60k which is understandable they said they're going to refund it money yeah money no they said they're going to give people a chance to to, re, yeah, refund. to refund yeah that's uh, to me i think that's I'm I'm on his side because at the end of the day, the money was raised in his, his name. name. Yeah, yeah that's if what that's people what. wanted to give to charity, they, they would have give given to charity, but they wanted to, to give, give the money to him. To him. The comp- and that happens the all the time. People will, will, will create Go, Go Fund Me's with a goal of 6K. Then I'll go and get 100K. People now come and say, oh, no, that's, his game. Going, that's rubbish, man. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> that's, that's rubbish, man. That's, that's rubbish, very man. true. Yeah, that's give the money. If he wants to use it to to pay for a better a better car and um um his rent or mortgage or whatever Obviously, and to pay his school it's within his rights what, what's wrong with that yeah, i don't yeah. get it he wants a, a a reliable vehicle for work he wants a place to live and he wants i don't think he's walking there again yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah there's another yeah, the, the, the statement no, that he released is that he wanted only 28k he's, he's, yeah like he said he, that he wanted 28k and they didn't want to give him 28k. He's not yeah. dreaming big, that's why. <laughs> you gotta think big, that's big. That's big. That's big. You gotta nah. think big. That's big. Yeah. You know, for him to just say, okay, just give me 28k, which yep. that's like my God has worked in a mysterious way. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. The company, the company he's working for, they're doing him dirty nah, still. That's bad, man. That's mm-hmm. bad. No, nah, I don't think they were right to try to clear. It's not like you cannot ex- you can't no. Just so no. why did what my point is when he touched 3k, they, you can stop it on GoFundMe <laughs> to say no more donations. You can stop it. Yeah, you can, yeah, like, you can close the link. But they saw 60. They, left they saw 60 yeah. day. I said, the first day, it went to like, uh, maybe, f- I think 30K. They said, ah, oh, we might be onto something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going to give you your That's car money. Yeah. yeah. You had your first um, live po- is it? I always I said K poetry. <laughs> Why would you say K poetry? It nearly beats me. Poetry is even poetry, is even poem. easier to be said by the Yorubas. <laughs> it nearly beats me. Panla. 
Faki, you but know I, how to I, say this. I had to explain it to her. Shimi, you're you, you, you fluent in Yoruba. You can't say poetry. That's rubbish, man. You had your first Cape live poem. It's not poem. Cape poem. No, I'm uh-huh. not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. So you know how to say it. Poem. Poem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How was that? It was amazing. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. It was, it was, it was, was I just that a loved dream of it. Yours? Yeah, it was very much something that I knew was like, it was always part of the plan. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So I did the live show mm-hmm. and in the live show, I performed pieces that um, I had already put online. But see how I usually use my Moonlight Sonata, mm-hmm. Beethoven. Now all the pieces, they've been extended and they now have... Um, music specifically made to them. So I've been working with like producers um, to sick. tailor the music the to the pieces. It. it was it was a lot of work, but it didn't feel like it because I was just having fun. You were enjoying yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I was just doing what I wanted to do. I was like, it's crazy that like, this is actually my career. Like, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, are, you, are you gonna do another one? Oh, 100 percent Like I'm I'm working on so the purpose of the show mm-hmm. was to showcase the pieces that I have been working on for my ep so i'm working on an extended project yes yeah, so i'm working on like an album mm-hmm. of um of of poems of poetry and whatever um and it is it's nothing like what you have what like you're used to seeing me do with like mm-hmm. the bits that i do on instagram mm-hmm. um so i've already released some of the singles so i think like three or so singles are out mm-hmm. um but i've got another single coming out soon actually soft life love that piece to death mm. so soft life is coming out soon and it's part of a maybe like a seven or so piece ep album of just beautifully crafted and like really well written spoken word pieces that take you on a journey like it's not just yeah like the funny parts are still there the satire is still there mm. but like you like you'll listen to it and you'll be like Oh, like do you know what I mean yeah like it's just yeah. it's it's just amazing so I'm working on the album mm-hmm. and so that was what the live show was about just to you know mm-hmm. get my my um, my community mm-hmm. to hear what I've been working on and for them to see the vision and the feedback that I got was unreal like yeah. the venue was the venue wanted me to, to be like a regular they said, oh, if you did this, would you, if we did this deal, would you be able to do blah, blah, blah? Because that we literally had people walking past on the streets, coming in, saying, oh, can we come in? Can we get tickets? Can we blah, 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 blah? Mm. After the um, show, the hotel owners, because the venue was like attached to a hotel. It was this gorgeous, gorgeous venue. And the concierge were like, there were literally people wanting, like asking if they could get in. Mm-hmm. Like, we've never had that place so full, blah, blah, blah. That's crazy. So... I got really, really good feedback, but it was just to kind of like test the the waters to see how people course, react to yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, then, course, yeah, cause the plan is to scale it. I'm I'm trying to talk. Like I want to do like a big, big yeah, live show. My, my, cousin, I mean? my cousin in America, she listens to like, she's very passionate about it. She's like, oh, I can't wait for her to come to the US. Oh, bless. Yeah, Kemi, shout out Kemi. Shout out Kemi, love you so sister. So do poets, do poets have writers, like singer songwriters and that? Or is it? I mean, they just... can, but I mean, you can't be a, a poet Worth if you don't write if you don't write your own stuff that's weird guys don't you forget know. that this episode is brought to you by tickets tickets and with an x you said you are doing another show soon yeah tickets have you heard hmm. of them? Super mutter. tickets yeah, yeah. The, the ticketing wow oh, yeah. oh. Hmm. They, they do ticket things don't they <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah tickets. Have they reached out to you i don't know probably not um. why no, no, I was just saying that like, Tickets is a platform where, like, obviously your next event is coming up. Mm-hmm. You can also, t- you can sell your tickets oh, okay. on mm-hmm. that platform. Mm-hmm. And being someone that's planning an event, one of the um, USPs, unique selling point is, say you've sold tickets and your event is still far away, you can actually take your money out. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they'll pay you your money. Mm-hmm. You can request for your money and they'll pay you your money. And people that are coming to the event, they can pay with Klarna. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, obviously we all know what Klarna is. Like, so, so if they're not able to like, pay in one go, they can pay in installment. Pay and installment. you know how you said that you got really good feedback from your first show? You can get analytics from that as well. Mm. So like, oh, that's can, nice. You can actually see where it sold well and where... You guys are really selling this thing uh, to no, me. No, no, no but honestly, it's well a done. very good product. You guys are, yeah, yeah, that's good. So it's a very good product. For your next, let them know that. Yeah, because my, my managers love... 
like I have one of my managers, Nicholas. Mm -hmm. He is such a stats and figures kind of person. He yeah, likes to be able to measure and see this and blah blah blah. Exactly. And you Me, I'm just vibes. Yeah, I'm and, just and I'm just the, reading the energy of the room. <laughs> yeah, and you can do marketing on there as well. Yeah. So like you can send out all your event marketing. You can even sell merch on there as well. So merch is something want, that I'm I'm you looking forward to, to doing. You, can do it on that you could have some well. sick merch. So, merch is gonna be so fun. You can use the referral code LML one hundred. Let them know that we sent you. And for anyone that's listening to LML 100 yeah. you need to yeah so please check out tickets honestly yep. it'll, be, it'll be very good for you it, it, I actually it's... think I have the app on my phone no, oh, it's, sure. a, it's a good yeah. app. It's a, it's good a very platform. good, yeah, it's yeah. a very good platform. platform. But Shai, we've spoken about a lot today. Honestly, your yeah. energy is, uh, I you. love it. <laughs> it's a lot. Like, but what's next for Shai? We know you're doing another um, live show, which yes. I'm very excited. I missed out on the first one. When very is it? Sad. Your first live show that you did. Yeah. But, um, but you're going to do another one. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm very sad I missed it on the first one. But so the next you'll be there one, the next. I will do you know when you're doing it, it though? Um, I'm trying to align it with the release of the EP. Mm -hmm. So the EP will be coming out soon. So mm -hmm. then the show will be announced following that. But it will be it will it will be this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely this year. If I buy tickets, will you let me be your plus one to the next GRM? This one's <laughs> always trying to be someone's plus one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you go to GRM? No, no, no. Um, I was invited, but I, I I didn't go, no. Of course you were invited. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Of course, yeah, you're working invited. on your EP that's coming out. Another live poem show is coming out. Yeah. What else is Shia working on? Um, dibbling and dabbling in. Yeah, I'm 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 doing a lot, but I think one of the one of like the next one of the projects that I'm working on next is so going back to the blood donation. I'm working yeah. with the obviously I'm a um, NHS blood and transplant ambassador, so I work nice. closely with the NHS about mm -hmm. with you know like getting more um, people of um, uh, African and Caribbean backgrounds okay. donating blood and stuff like that. Um, but I'm working on this project in which, so there are currently about 12,000 new, the, the NHS needs about 12,000 new black blood donors right. in the UK to keep up with demands, you know, because there have been times where my little sister even has needed to have one of her are you not a monthly- um no no okay. no um but one of the i lost my train of thought sorry donors 12,000 donors yes mm -hmm. so um i work closely with the nhs mm -hmm. and currently there are about 12,000 or so new black blood donors that are needed to meet with demands there have been times where you know like people um living with sickle cell or you know that's thalassemia and you know like blood people who need yeah, you know blood, like blood, yeah. blood exchanges and transplants mm -hmm. have not had have not been able to have because there isn't enough blood mm -hmm. so one that's of the crazy. things that i'm working on um closing this year is um to try to is a campaign mm -hmm. slash um yeah like mission statement or whatever um mission sorry to get 12,000 new black blood donors. Right. So I'm going to be going around, I'm going to be going around the UK essentially, mm -hmm. just, you know, like raising awareness about it, um, working closely with the NHS. I'm going to be on podcasts, I'm going to be on radio, I'm going to be on TV interviews, I'm going to be on mm -hmm. just, you know, like really trying to galvanize my community mm -hmm. um, to to donate blood. Right. That's the kind That's the kind of influence that I kind of, that's, that's my lane of influence. Mm -hmm. right. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Going back to earlier, talking about, you know, like working with these people and mm -hmm. brands and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, yeah like the brand stuff is is, is cool, is fun, yeah. but that's not Just really, like do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it doesn't fulfill me. And I, well, I, I mean like what you're doing with the blood donation. A hundred percent, thousand percent. Yeah, that's what I, like I was doing, I was doing this before I even had the platform that I had. Right. Do you know what I mean? So like, it's always been something that I've so cared about. The yeah, like, so that's yeah. the, so I'm working on, on, on that. That's one of the um, things that I'm working mm -hmm. on. Um, it's going to be a big mission, mm -hmm. but you know, go, you go big do or, or, or go home. Do you know what I mean? So, and I think it's not for lack of um, desire. It's not just, it's not just that black people don't donate blood. It's not that a lot of, there's a lot of factors that play into it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's the mission to try to get 12,000 new black blood donors to mm -hmm. register or at least just give blood, even if it's just once, because mm -hmm. just one blood donation can help three adults or six children. Oh, wow. 
Wow. And so even if one, even if you donate blood just once, mm -hmm. you have helped three or six people in your community. How much blood do you have to donate at a time though? Um, I think it's it's not much. I think the bag is like this much. So do you, feel, not, do you, you don't, feel any type of way once it's done? No, like, do you, you don't. Do you feel tired or something? Or, I never, or I never feel tired after, but you are um, advised to take it easy for the rest mm. of the day. So just make sure you drink lots of fluids, you, you eat and you take it easy. Don't go to the gym, don't go do anything. But you know, you'll get that blood back. Yes. Yeah, you your body, sex, your, your, your oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. <laughs> okay. Hey. If you're a pillow princess, yeah, you can have. You can have sex. <laughs> if you're a pillow princess, you can have sex. Pillow princess. Wait, wait, just oh no, 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 no. This was a bad man blood. It was so tough. Shall but yeah, it does. Hey, people, if you're going to please donate, blood, yeah. you, have to, you have for me for uh, I'll do eleven thousand um, nine hundred and ninety nine. You're gonna donate, yeah. but you have to I'm donate. You know, not be my, not be my mouth. No, I'm gonna do it, and I'll, I'll literally tell you. If I'm gonna donate, please leave a hat sign. In the yeah, donating blood is. We want to see how many people we can get. Let's galvanize the community. Important. Yeah, let's yeah. do that for sure. Are you donating? I'm absolutely going to donate because yeah, I, I, I was of the belief that if you drink in. You yeah. can't give blood. No, there was a health questionnaire. There was a health questionnaire that they. <laughs> there was a health questionnaire that they ask yeah. you to fill in before your donation, but it's just you know like general. Yeah, just general. So they know. See, like yeah, like have you travelled to any specific countries in the last six months? Have you had a tattoo? Have you had this? Have you done this? Have you done blah blah blah? So there's a bunch of questions that they ask. But if you have a tattoo, can you donate? If not, if you've had a tattoo within the last. I want to say maybe like three months or, or something, okay, okay, okay. but it's not, that's literally just for, you know, like infection and stuff okay, like that. Okay, but okay. they're okay. very rigorous, mm -hmm. um, but it's just to obviously to make sure that you're not, you know, contaminating the next person with, mm -hmm. with anything, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you've been to Nigeria mm -hmm. recently, cause obviously mm -hmm. high malaria, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. those kind of um, countries, yeah. they, you know, they're more like, mm, maybe mm -hmm. not just, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just just chill, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but but yeah, it's it's just really it's really important because it doesn't just it's not just for people who live with sickle cell. It's for pregnant black women who have difficult labors and need and have lost a lot of blood and need um, need a, a, a blood transplant. It's for mm -hmm. children who have blood cancer. It's for you know, people who have been in, in accidents is for people who have been victims of racist attacks who need a blood transfusion. It's just yeah. about helping your community. And I just feel like giving blood is one of the easiest ways to, to do, do it. That. You go Absolutely. in, you fill in the form, mm -hmm. they check your iron, you sit down, they put in the, the cannula or, or, or needle or whatever mm -hmm. to take the the blood. Mm -hmm. You sit with your arm like that. Mm -hmm. Within Within 10 minutes, you're mm -hmm. done. New update. It can even be a first date. Let's go give blood, to babes. <laughs> like no, like it's really not. It's not babes, it's let's not, do something for the like, community. It's, it's, it's really not even. Let's do something okay. for the community. <laughs> We even <laughs> know if our blood is compatible. We use our to check our blood True. group. Our Shia, it's been fantastic having you on this. We've okay. talked about some really amazing topics. No, we want to just end on a light note. Let's do a quick no, no, fire no, no, round. Sorry, can I just what? ask one last There's question? There's something that I need to do every episode. What's the best mo? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's that was good. what I was going to do. <laughs> no, this this is a segment. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody but I can't, sorry, because me. just one last question. <laughs> yeah. Being a content creator, what's the best thing that's, like, that, you've, that you've been able to experience just being a content creator? Oh, what yeah, would you say is the best thing that's happened to you? That you've uh, if, you, if it's more than before. one, you, you, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. There's been, there's been, there's been, there's been so much. Um, what do I remember? I think one of... Well, one one of them has been that I was I did the um the campaign for to launch 4DX in um cinemas. You know 4DX when they yeah. blah, blah, blah. so I worked with TikTok and um Cineworld to oh. shoot that campaign. So I was the the and the video was the one that was um like you go into a 4DX cinema mm -hmm. and then you know like it would be that video mm -hmm. that comes up that tells you what 4dx is so <coughs> so that was <laughs> um that was that was really really fun um i also performed at um royal outbook hall very wow. very early on yeah yeah so that was really mm -hmm. fun 
um, yeah, I've just I've I've done a lot of fun things. Like honestly, like you know, it's that you're seeing they're fun because this is people's livelihood. This is if I'm in if I'm in cin- if I'm yeah, on yeah, cinema world, I'll be taking girl to the cinema. Really? Are you still working? Okay. Are you still working? It's fun. <laughs> I, mean, I think fun is just the the like that's what underpins my experience as like a content creator and stuff because I've been fortunate enough to. Like the minute, basically the minute that I decided that I was going to be a content creator, I was full time with it. Like, wow. do you know what I mean? Like, so what it was very. Just not you. I'm saying in general. In general. Anybody that wants to become a current yeah. content creator, what makes you a content creator? I think that's a very like. <sighs> there's a lot of things that makes you a content creator depending on the kind of content it is you make. There were some content creators that other people would consider content creators that I'd be like, I don't respect your thing. I I don't rate your thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I think it's just about being cons- consistent, original, and creative. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because it's a very, I feel like it's a very, it's still being defined. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's still, <laughs> cuck. <laughs> well done. It's still, a new, it's still a new market. Well done. It's yeah. Still a new market. It's still, and it's different to every everyone. There were some people who do it full time, there were some people who do it part time, there were some people who just, do it, do it just because yeah mm-hmm. like do you know what I mean like it's very yeah it's a very so open do it to just stay relevant yeah like, it's a very know, open just, yeah. open market yeah, yeah relatively new thing you know like are you a content creator if you're just because you're making money from it or oh, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean yeah, like yeah. are you a content creator <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you have yeah. a millions of followers are you are but there are people who have millions of followers who they aren't who don't they're money. not monetizing yeah. it do you know what I mean so it's like you what know you Hey, yeah, it's guys, just very abstract. In my follow Shai on Instagram. We need to get to 500k before the year <laughs> runs out. We're going to pin it on top. Yeah, follow that'd Shai be nice, Instagram. I guess. So the best yeah. malt. What's the best malt? Um, What, what is the best malt? The list of the malts. Do you know, okay, do you know the malts, right? Mighty, Mighty malt. malt. Hype. Is it? Hi, hypo. Hype malt. Hype malt. Hype malt. Hype malt hype super super malt. malt. Super malt. Maltina. 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 Do you know what? I'm... Guinness. You see, when you mention Montina, she already... She Malti- knows Maltina, no, Maltina is my, is my favourite. That's my favourite one. I'm going to try Maltina today. Maltina is my favourite one. Malt, it's very malty. It's like, that's it's very, malt. Yeah. Super malt, it feels watery it's to harsh. me. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot. Yeah, you Maltina, can't me, I like Maltina. Maltina, Maltina. Yeah, Maltina is different. Yeah, it's different. You can't Super compare. Malt League of its own. Yeah. Yeah. Super malt is not. Maltina is is good. Maltina, get Maltina is good. Get pick milk. Doing none of that. That's funny. Doing none of that. I'm just drinking the Maltina. That's no worries. That's it. But yeah, please. Well, I'm 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 giving you an official invite to the Hacker Show on the 29th of September. You've got a plus 29th two. 29th of September. Okay. Let if me you're put here, that in my calendar because plus I'm two. You, those emails that you'll be sending, please. Yeah. Send it. Plus, you know, just. What day did you say? 29th, 29th Sunday. Leicester show. Square. Tickets are selling fast, guys. Okay. Leicester Square Fair. Uh, but it would be, it would it would be nice to have you there. 29th of September. It's not a rave. It's not a brunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with parties. So, so, so it's it's a Please, show. I tell you that my favorite thing is going to the theater by myself. Yeah, what see, this one, this one is inside fight? the theater. So <laughs> there, we're, we're one step there already. It's Leicester Square <laughs> Theater. So Lovely. maybe that's Lovely. that's Lovely. the reason you should come. But yeah, yeah, it's um it's a night filled with fun games and and laughter, just cool. different, just different energy. So yeah, yeah. If, we'd right, love cool. to have you there. Perfect. Got that in my calendar. Perfect. I've had a lot of fun, guys. No, yeah. appreciate you, man, for coming down. Have you listened to Ashaka's new album? No, I haven't. <sighs> no, I haven't. I've been busy. So I've not been very busy. The one. I've not. No, I've not. What, what do you my think friend, of My it? friends have sent me the. I've sent me like songs, and even then, it's just like when I get round to listening to it, then I will really listen, listen to it. I like to, it. to take in. Of course, of course. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to just listen to one scattered. No, I need to listen sit down, to it really, and see. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And catch the vibe. But no, what do you guys think of it? I like it, but uh, I just I want something different from Asha Kena. Like I, feel I think this album is different. different. It's, no, it's not. It's not gonna give anybody anything he different. This is same. no. This what album was get. different, bro. Mm, no, I'm really? saying I understand listen. what she's saying. Like, but I'm just speaking same. Spanish. <laughs> yeah, but oh, I mean, I'm not. Asha Kena's he done a whole verse in Spanish. Oh, okay. But he, but <laughs> what do you? What more do you want? To do? <laughs> no, yeah, how different do you want? Him to did you guys see that? Did you guys see that tweet where someone was where they said, "Oh, it. please, your Stop listeners are not just uh, just your." 
And then you saw those white couples. Yes. Yeah. He said, it's such a stupid thing to say. I have to, I'm, I'm more comfortable singing in but your but language. He, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't even need to say he that. He is Nigerian. Mm. Like, no, that's, what you he said, that's what he <laughs> like, said though. Like, just to like, not being, oh, they're asking you a question, you're not able to give an answer, but he's trying to explain. Of course, he's, yeah, yeah, of course. I'm touching all. Politically. Yeah, I'm touching on But go and tell my... Sam Smith to sing in Yoruba. <laughs> <laughs> Yoruba. No, literally. Yoruba people say, why don't you sing yeah, Yoruba? Yeah, you have Yoruba fans. Why don't you sing <laughs> Yoruba? Like, literally. Come on. It's like asking Olamide to not sing Yoruba song. Yeah, it's, it doesn't make sense. People, I, I feel like just people just find something to say when there's, there's yeah, it's just, it's just a culture yeah, that like we're in right now. Do you still want to do it though? Sorry. Do you still want to do it? She, she, what, what, do the, what? The, with the Ashake Fuji. She's not heard it, so. She, she, can, she wanted it? you to freestyle on the beat. There's a there's a song on it called Fuji Vibe. Fuji Vibe. Oh, I've not I've not heard it. <laughs> exactly my point. So. And okay. I'm terrible at freestyles, but they're always still fun. Let's see. If you if you feel like you can't if you cannot if you don't meet, if you don't meet the beat, it stop me, don't worry. Are you playing it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mommy of London, come on, feel the beat. Feel it. She's feeling it. <laughs> She's still the chat. Oh yeah, don't like kill me, yeah. So kill me. <laughs> is there a drop? No. Uh, it's an instrumental. That's it. That's it. Give her anchor chief. I don't even know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here giving up like, mm, mm. I don't even know what to oh, talk yeah, about. Just talk about anything. Give me a topic. Anything. Give me a topic. The sun. It's sunny in London. It's like Lagos. Oh. I'm gonna get London. Uh, oh, is this one? Yeah, I've, I've even finished. Play again now. Let's do it again. Okay, on the sun. Right. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> take your Come time. On, take your give time. It to us. OJ's going next. No, no, no. go next way. <laughs> you have a backup dancer. Sunshine in London. Mm, <laughs> Sunshine in London. You think it's Lagos? Ooh. Mm. The way the sun is shining. Sunshine in London, London in London. Sunshine in London, sunshine 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 in London. Sunshine in London. That was good. That was good. That was so bad. That was so bad. Sunshine in London, sunshine in London. But that's how the songs are going now. Yeah, literally, that was good. That's how the songs are going. Shia, we've had a lovely time. I'm bad at these styles. You've had a lovely time as well. Um, but we like to end the show. This is where Lagos meets London and it's Wahala. So we're going to say Lagos No, no, wait. We, need to, uh, we have some gifts for Oh, yes, now. that's true. That's true. Oh, oh that's you have true. gifts for me? Come bearing gifts. That's oh, I love that's gifts. A, that's a box of Chapman's. Go to your that's Chapman's. True, oh, thank you. When you're back from holiday, just make sure they leave it in the fridge. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, you want me I hope we've been able to do justice. Oh, I love, love. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I've already hugged them. I've not hugged you. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. wait, yeah. wait. Chapman. Chapman's me. Let me put it. Let me put mm. it. Yeah. And then obviously this. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Audio listeners, bro. This is so cute because this is because of my friend Gay. Yes. yes. <laughs> Listen, when that match drops, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is so cool. I love this. Oh, thank you guys so much. No worries. No worries at all. And the thing is, I've been meaning to, 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 buy, to buy flowers for my apartment as well. No, this is no, really nice. Thank you guys to. so much. Oh, awesome. I really appreciate this. I get to book. sign? Yeah. I hope my water have not... Just put it somewhere it in out. case you... When you blow, so I can sell it. <laughs> Put it around. <laughs> Let me put it. What do you mean when you put it? She's already blown. Let me do. She has already blown. When she's doing her tours in America and all those places. That's imminent. That's going to happen. Succulent Shire. Succulent Shire. Yeah, left-handed. Yeah. 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 Left-handed. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you listening. guys thank for you tuning so in much. once again. And before we end, we're going to get Shia to say Wahala. So oh, we'll Shia, say Lagos, Miss London. You say Wahala in your accent. Give us... Mommy of Lo- London. Give us that. <laughs> Give us that. 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 Give
Shut your mouth. Don't do it. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you are following us on all our social media platforms. Please. On our streaming platform, please. YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, please. all the good stuff. Comment, most importantly. And please. this is Lagos Meets London. So, everybody, let's go. Lagos, Lagos Meets London. London. Wahalard. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Wahalard. 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 Different intonations for you. Wahalard. Wahalard. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, thanks, guys.